The Jake Asman Show will begin shortly. Thanks to all these great Patreon members who help support the show. Get your super chats ready. Jake will be here in just a moment. If you love the New York Jets, this is the place to be. And now, the Jake Asman Show. We got him. Tyron Smith to the New York J-E-T-S. Jets, Jets, Jets. Let's go, Joe Douglas. He's alive. Let Joe cook. Let's talk about it. Here we go, Jet fans. Let's hit it and get it started. Man, our Jets are primed for a historic season. We bleed Jets green each and every day. This is not the same old Jets. We have Garrett Wilson. Let's go. We have Brees Hall. Please subscribe and hit the like button below. Super Jet, baby. Cut the line. We have Sauce Gardner. We have Quinn and Williams. The Jets bandwagon is loaded. Now it's time to talk all things New York Jets. It's the Jake Asman Show. Let Joe cook. Nobody puts Joe Douglas in the corner. The New York Jets now have an all-pro left tackle. His name is Tyron Smith. Just announced the Jets have got him on a one-year deal worth up to $20 million. So Joe Douglas said, F it, we're getting our guy. And the Jets made it happen. And I did not think that the Jets were going to end up with Tyron Smith. I knew they were in on him. I said it to you guys earlier. I said it yesterday on the show that I had heard the Jets were in talks with his agent, and they got it done. And to to say that the Jets have upgraded along their offensive line this offseason, I mean, is the understatement of the century. First off, from left to right, the New York Jets now have five legitimate starting offensive linemen. When your worst offensive lineman out of your starters is John Simpson, you have a damn good offensive line. When you still have the 10th pick in the draft and a loaded offensive line class, this now changes everything for the Jets. Could they trade up for a weapon? Yes. Could they stick and pick for a weapon at 10? Yes. Could they stick and pick and take another offensive lineman at 10? Yes. Could they trade down, recoup draft capital, and then do a wild amount of different things? Yes. Everything now changes. But the fact of the matter is this. The New York Jets now have an all-pro protecting Aaron Bleep and Rodgers. And I give so much credit to the Jets for being all-in and making this move. Because ultimately, a one-year deal worth up to $20 million. We'll see what the base salary is. But we said it for months. If you were going to overpay, you overpay for a guy that you know when he's out there is an all-pro. And Tyron Smith is still playing at the highest of levels. He is still playing like one of the best left tackles in the league. Are the injuries a concern? Sure, but he's never missed a playoff game. And if I'm going to overpay in free agency, I'd rather it be for a guy that I know is going to go out there, and when he's out there, he's the best left tackle the New York Jets have had since the Brickishaw Ferguson, without question. All right, Tyron Smith this past year is still mauling dudes. Watch him dominate Aiden Hutchinson here, one of the best pass rushers in the league. I mean, ultimately, the New York Jets got themselves one of the best tackles in the game. Far none. I don't care about his age. When you watch the film, Tyron Smith was as good as any option they could have brought in. Anyone. He is still dominating dudes in the league. And he played in 13 games this past year. If they got to treat him differently at practice, you know, keep him on a schedule where they're trying to keep him healthy, trying to keep him fresh, you do it. Because the bottom line is this. Even if he's not out there every game, The 13 games he is out there, let's say, you'd sign for that right now. He's better than anything they've had. He is a wall. He is a mountain of a human being. And from left to right, the New York Jets having Tyron Smith, John Simpson, Joe Tipman, AVT is an all-pro guard. He's now playing guard. He's locked in. And Morgan Moses, give credit to this general manager. They have completely redone their offensive line. And I, I, and I, I don't know if there's a jet man on the planet that can complain about this. One-year deal. You're in all-in mode. You're trying to win. This is the move you make. 
You know, I, I, I don't care if both Tyron Smith and Morgan Moses are free agents at the end of next year. You worry about that then. The Jets are all in right now. This is how they need to operate, and they are operating that way. And for all the people who were freaking out that the Jets didn't do anything, all the people that were calling in saying, what are they doing? I want this guy signed now. You don't think maybe they were negotiating? You don't think Tyron Smith's agent was trying to find another team that would give him a two-year deal? Or give him a deal that would be close to the deal the Jets had on the table? The Jets clearly were like, we'll give you a, we'll give you a one-year deal with a lot of money. But this is our offer, take it or leave it. And his market clearly didn't develop. And the Jets got themselves an all-pro left tackle. I mean, if you're a Jet fan and you're not pumped up on this Friday night, I don't know what to tell you. We've waited a long time. Uh, and just thinking about what this move now means for the possibility of the draft is exciting. All of a sudden, this draft just got a heck of a lot more interesting. All right? For months, it was left tackle at 10 no matter what. Everything's on the table now. And no, this does not mean the Jets can't still take another offensive lineman. In fact, if it went up to me and Joe Alt is there, I'm taking him. And I think that could happen. I don't think the Chargers are taking a tackle at five. I don't think the Gi Giants are taking a tackle. I think Tennessee could look to trade out of seven. And here comes, let's say, Minnesota moving up to take McCarthy. Eight and nine will not be offensive linemen. Ten could be. Or the Jets could say, let's trade back and let's get more picks. Let's get a second-round pick so we can address wide receiver in the second round. That's now on the table. Let's trade back Trey, Troy Fontano, who could play both guard and tackle. That way, if Tyron Smith gets hurt, we're covered. And by the way, you know what I would do? Assuming he could pass a physical, I'm still signing David Bakhtiari. I'm all in to win. One-year deal. $5 million. Million bucks for every game played. You're not going to re-sign Bryce Huff? Let's invest the money on the O-line. Let's let's keep building this offensive line. Why stop? Why stop? Jets have led the league in injuries the last two years on the O-line. Keep going. But this is massive. Massive. And every Jet fan who said there was no way they were going to do this, there was no way they were going to they they were going to they were going to spend. Joe Douglas has his price, and he won't go over it. Joe Douglas knows he's got a winner. He's getting fired. If you were to, quote, unquote, break your rule and pay an aging left tackle a deal worth up to $20 million, which, by the way, let's see what the real contract is, because I'm, I, I, I'm pretty much convinced it's probably going to be closer to, like, $13 million and guaranteed. Notice, the agent did not give Schefter and Rappaport the terms. They just said worth up to twenty to try and make it sound like it's more money than it actually is. Let's see what it truly ends up being. But the point being is this, Joe Douglas adapted the way that we wanted them to. If you were going to overpay, if you were going to spend, you spend it on a guy that is still one of the five best players at his position in the league, regardless of his age. And that's what he is. So all the Jet fans who were worried, who were crying, they're not doing enough. The Allens, the JJs of the world, even Neil screaming and yelling earlier. I hope you're happy, because you should be. This is a major signing for the Jets. And for the first time in a while, the New York Jets could say they had not one but two stud tackles on their offensive line. I mean, going from Dwayne Brown and Makai Becton to Tyron Smith and Morgan Moses, you know what that's like? It's going to be like going from Zach Wilson to Aaron freaking Rodgers, a quarterback this year. Let's go. Keep them healthy. Anything is possible to Joe Douglas. Mm. Ah, let's go. Ah, I'm so hyped. Thank God. Thank God. All right. Comments, questions, super chats, cut the line. I also got a special guest joining us live from what looks like the bar. Andrew Fialco. He wanted Tyron Smith. We did the film review. He said, that's the guy. Bald man Joe, get him. And we got him. Andrew, what's up, man? No, I'm not I'm not at the bar yet. I'll be there in like an hour or two. But <laughs> I had to run I had to run from the gym. I got a late gym session in, but 
I was like, my my te- my my phone was buzzing so much. I was like, what's going on? All my friends were like, yo, we got him, we got him. I'm like, unbelievable. I just I, like Jake. Just everything you just said is true, and I was yeah a big big proponent of let's go get him, and we got him. And I was just looking back at my tweet about him because now that tweet's like blowing up, and people are like saying good things about it. But people were like, hey, he's too old. Like it's always something, Jet fans. Like I'm not trying to be that guy, but once in a while, like. like just like be happy with what like the the front office is doing because look we 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 came on Jake's show and watched the film and what Tyron Smith was last year was a top three tackle in the NFL. Now I know that's very that's like that's that's Spanish to English English speaking Jet fans to ever like hear about something like that, but that that's just how it is. And I'm like elated. I, I'm I'm this is this is like a close feeling to not Rogers. Like I, I got the chills when I saw the thing. Like, I'm so happy about Tyron Smith. This is a home run deal, like absolute home run. I mean, it's just it changes everything for them, man. Like you know, when he's out there, you have one of the best left tackles in the league. And you know what? Here's yeah. here's the thing people need to talk more about too. The Jets' running game this year is going to be nasty because they got oh, some yeah. they got some maulers now, some toughness. That's Bre- I mean, Brees Hall. Other than Aaron Rodgers, Brees Hall should be the happiest guy, you know, <laughs> you know, yeah. in in the country right now. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, we we also talked about it on the show a couple of weeks ago, and like, fair, very fair to worry. Like, look, we knew after Lincoln got cut, three pieces on the O line to fill in. Like, that's a lot to do in a free agency. And it, like, we were like, oh, maybe free agency and the draft, we could we could somehow fix it. The fact that we fixed it now, like you said, we have flexibility at ten to to trade down, trade up, uh, stay put. We have so much flexibility. We don't we don't have to take a tackle anymore, even though I think we should. I think you said that also. Thank you, sir. Um, I think you said that as well. But we've un- unlimited flexibility now, so it's it's a, we're in such a good spot, really. I am. Uh, I'm giddy, man. I, I really am. I yeah. just. I all right. So we'll we'll talk more next week when we do the film review on the entire new offensive line additions. But pick a ten now. I, I mean, what's what's your initial you. uh, feel on what this now means for oh, potentially boy. what they do in the draft? Um, just FYI, I don't even know how many people in chat right now. I got a bunch of people in my lobby at my apartment. Um, I'll just wait out here for a sec. So wait, so what, what was the question? Pick 10 in the draft. What, what's your initial feel on how they could go about it? Everyone's going to start saying, uh, Brock Bowers, just so, like, just so we start like putting that out there. That's what, that's what the word's going to be. Everyone's say, oh, it's sick Brock. Uh, the room, the tight end room's not good enough. And I, I kind of agree, but I don't know at this point, like, I'm hoping that Douglas like says screw it. Sixteen hundred watching, yeah, that's crazy. Um, I'm hoping that Douglas says screw it and like if we don't sign a receiver, I- I'm trading up for neighbors. I'm going to get neighbors. I'm going to get Rome. Like we're we're all in, but also if we have the ability to to package a couple of picks and go get a receiver next to Garrett, that's kind of what what the next domino is going to fall is going to be. So I I don't know. Maybe we stay put and take Bowers at ten. I don't even know if he gets there, but maybe we also trade down. Look, like the next big move is we got to go get a receiver next to Garrett. And I, I'm on the way, but can't be Tyler Boyd. I, I am. Uh, I'm right there with you as far as if they could trade up and get Malik Neighbors, I, I, I would do it. But also, I, I think they could trade down now and still take one of the offensive linemen in the first round. And if they get a second round pick, take, take a receiver with your second round pick. And I, I, I think they're still going to sign a free agent wide receiver. Mike Williams is visiting with the Panthers next week, so the Jets saw that. will probably have a visit with him too, by the way. The saw said they have a receiver coming in next week. Maybe it's him. Tyler Boyd and Corey Davis coming back, and then you could still take a receiver and a trade down. There's so many possibilities now that they're in this spot. It's 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 so it's so right. exciting to have options. Right, and I don't know how Jet fans feel, but one of my friends mentioned to me, he's like, what would you rather? Would you rather Tyron Smith or Mike Williams? And it's a tough decision, but at the end of the day, who, who are we trusting more? By, by, by me saying Tyron Smith, I'm trusting Rodgers more. And that's kind of what we have to do. Like, it is weird now that we, we want to trade Lazard a little, in my opinion, because the whole word was, hey, we're gonna, he's going to become so elevated and go back to how he played when, when Rodgers last had him. But I guess they don't think that, which is – I can't – I don't blame them, honestly. Um, I, I'm, I'm just that, – that's the next domino to fall. And – I don't know. I think Bowers at 10 would be the wrong pick, honestly. I think, I think we really should try and go receiver at 10 or tackle. But like you said, and we all Jet fans have to remember this, Joe Douglas is kind of on this one-year trek. 
So he knows that like whatever happened, this is kind of like his make it or break it year. So I don't anticipate. Uh, did we lose Andrew? Looks like we did. We'll try. We'll try and get him back. But I mean, I, I'm seeing the super chats here, uh, and, and we're going to do a big time offensive line film review with Andrew next week. And we were going to go over Morgan Moses and since, and now we'll do the entire Jets offensive line. Let me, let me catch up with some super chats. If you're just tuning in, I have posted the Gus Buster hotline link. Let's celebrate tonight, Jet fans. Anything is possible in the name of Joseph Douglas. Ah, protection, baby. A all pro left tackle and a very solid, very durable right tackle are now protecting Aaron Rodgers. Not to mention they signed the best available backup. I mean, it has been a phenomenal offseason so far for the Jets. You see how quickly it changes? Forever Ron says, let's go. Jam, feeling better about JD's plan. Hedy, she says, splashing Hedy shots tonight. Let's go. Cheers, Henny. Ladies and gentlemen, the following people are making it rain right now, and it is going to be a wild one if we keep getting people splashing the money like Joe Douglas did tonight. Here we go. Money, 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 money. Chris J has gifted memberships. Wow. All right. I'm going to try and get all the names here, people who got memberships, but we have had – I can't even scroll up. You know, it's going to be – if you got a membership, congratulations. Because <laughs> there's, there's so many of you in here. Dallas says, uh, Dallas James said, Tata, let's go. James Alba writes in, someone tell JJ that Joe Douglas is doing belly flops in the kiddie pool. Big splashes. Yeah, this, this is the type of splash that Joe Douglas jumped in the pool and all the water came out of the pool. It's that big of a splash. The salty teacher writes, LFG. Matthew writes in, JD moves in silence like lasagna. Yeah, Joe Douglas moved in silence like the G in lasagna, baby. Admiral Average says, Henny time. Cheers. I got to buy another Hennessy bottle. We're running out tonight. Mm. DJ Dibs. Taxes for the wall. Joe built. Let's go. Bro, no such thing as a bad one-year deal. I love it. I love it. Big Rush. We now have an elite O-line. Thank you, JD. I'll tell you what. You have an all-pro left tackle. I believe you have a right, an all-pro right guard. You have an above-average right tackle. I think you, by the end of the season, we're going to be saying Tippman's one of the better centers in the league. You got an above-average center. I think I think Simpson's probably an average left guard, which is fine. Once again, if 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 John Simpson's your worst offensive lineman, you have a damn good O-line. And in a loaded tackle class, you know what the Jets now could do? Still take another tackle. Trade out of 10. Take a weapon. Patrick Paul from Houston in round two. Why not? Get, get Here's what I want the Jets to do at 10. Trade up and get neighbors. Or a Dunze. Or if you still love all and you can get them, I'm, I'm with it. Or trade back. I, I don't think we need the stick at 10. Let's, let's be crazy, man. James Napoleon. Late night Joey D. Dude. Nobody loves the late night signings more than Joe Douglas. This man fires up the you up text, unlike anything we've seen before, folks. And for the older generation that doesn't know what a you up text is, it's what my generation would call the booty call. All right. That's Joe Douglas, man. He's at the bar late and he's he's taking big cuts. Pound for pound, what would you do with number 10 now? Where did you get the Jets drip? I'm cracking a fireman Ed beer to celebrate now. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Speaking of Jets drip, for the first time this offseason, the chain gang is on, baby. Let's go. Yeah. A chain that has not been worn since Mr. Bonesy wore it in Vegas. But it's on the neck now. Here we go. I. I, I, I'm streaming for a while, folks. I, I mean, it, th thank God I have more alcohol. I'm getting hammered on this show. I'm so excited. Connor Hughes said we should have kept Lakin. Wrong. Let your nuts hang, J-T-J-E-T-S. Yeah, uh, to anyone who said the Jets should have kept Lakin Tomlinson, how do you feel now? And I like Connor, but I disagreed with him when he came on the show and said that. It never made sense. Lakin Tomlinson can't play. Nice guy, durable. He wasn't good. Simpson's the better player. 
and to take what they saved in Lakin and upgrade at Simpson, it made sense. Then to spend on Tyron Smith and what will probably be considered an overpay, who cares? It's a one-year deal. By the way, when we find out the actual um, details of his contract, I think we're going to like it even more because it's not going to be $20 million. When the agent puts out there, worth up <laughs> to $20 million, that's all you need to know. I, I mean, it, I, it's unbelievable. Receivers in play at 10. Bowers in play at 10. Uh, it's crazy. Big Rush, super sticker. Thank you, Big Rush. All right, look who made a rank. Go Stackley. Let's go. Money, 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 money. Unreal. Unreal. I just, I, I'm so happy, folks. How could you not be? If you're watching live, hit the like button. Jonathan writes in, now that we have Tyron Smith, do you think we should trade the first round pick and future picks for Justin Jefferson or Brandon Ayuk? I, I mean, if you could get me Justin Jefferson somehow, I'm in. I, I don't I don't see the path to that. <laughs> Ayuk, I mean, look, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, wh what's he going for? Is he even available? How about this step from Corey Bomber? Tyron Smith hasn't allowed more than two sacks in the season since 2017. Makai Becton allowed 12 sacks in 2023. That's insane. I got some more stats on Tyron Smith here. All right, let's uh let's let's go to the the analytical numbers here from Michael Nadia. 3.36 pressure rate allowed via Pro Football Focus, second best among left tackles. Allowed just one sack and one hit. 0.36% sack slash hit rate, second best among left tackles. 84.5 one on one block win rate via next-gen stats, third highest among left tackles. The Jets have built a wall. You guys know that viral video of Stan Van Gundy saying, we need to build a bleeping wall? Well, that's what the Jets have done. Jonathan says, now that we have Tyron Smith, I already read that one, my bad. M. King says, this is huge, but why do ESPN radio hosts try to tear down these O-line signings? Such haters appreciate, man. Hey, I, I host for ESPN. On the local level on the national radio. So I ain't tearing this down. Anyone who tries to tell you this wasn't a good move is a moron. I don't know how else to say it. It's a one year deal to get the best available offensive lineman in free agency. You're a win now team. The Jets have operated now like a win now team. That's what they needed to do. Charles Gorman says, Let's F and go. We have an all time great tackle on our team. This is, at least on paper, this is the best offensive line the Jets have had since probably 2015. And then before that, the 9 10 Jets. On paper, it's a really good O line. You got an all pro left tackle, solid right tackle, all pro right guard, solid center, solid left guard. And they're not done. Keep keep going. Because guys get hurt. And Tyron Smith, you know we'll miss some time this year. Mike Jerome says, not a big deal. My only thing is I wish Tyron Simpson and Moses were all on a two year deal. Great job though, JD. Trust the process. Look. That's why an, an offensive lineman is still in play in the first round. And you could trade down and get extra picks and still take someone. You'd rather than be on, on a one-year deal in the case of Tyron, though. You know, you could, you could always extend these guys, too, if they have really good years. That, that's the hope. Ladies and gentlemen, you know that it's a good move when even Allen, who said there's no way Joe Douglas would spend why would Tyron Smith choose the Jets over, say, the Chiefs? Why would he come to the Jets? No way. Well, Allen's a good man because Tyron Smith is a Jet, and he's gifting 10 people memberships. Money, 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 money. Unreal. Unreal. King Lowski's watching. He's gifted 10 memberships. There's too many people in here live right now to shout everyone out. we got 1,887 concurrence watching right now. Please hit the like button if you're a fan of Joe Douglas signing an all-pro left tackle to protect our Hall of Fame quarterback. Shout out to the king, King Lowski. Money, 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 money. The Salty Teacher has gifted five memberships. We're making a rain tonight, folks. 
Money, 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 money. Money, 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 Nell Towns making it right. I need like more money sounders here. I need like a cha-ching sounder. Whoa. Money, 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 money. This is unreal. Unreal. Uh, Bilal Hater. Five more memberships. Good God. Money, 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 money. The entire show would be me reading off who got channel memberships tonight if I did that. All right, let me catch up on a couple of super chats here. Then we go right back to your calls, Jeff fans, for people that want to celebrate. Uh, let's see. We have this one from Alex G who says, In Jake, we trust. He the glue that kept us together. In Joe, we trust, man. Way to step up, Joe Douglas. Get a deal done. Creative deal, too. One year overpay when needed to be done. Sneakers to boots. Options are now endless. Trade back. Offensive tackle. Wide receiver in the second. Young offensive tackle. And Jordan Travis to learn behind Smith slash AR can change this franchise. Let's go. I'm team trade back or trade up. Trade up for one of these top three receivers. Trade back and get the second round pick back. Still take one of the offensive linemen. And I'll say this as well. I, the Jets are going to add a receiver. I'm sure Mike Williams will take a visit with them next week. They're still in on Tyler Boyd. There's still a receiver trade they could make. I am very, very excited, and I think the draft conversations are going to be phenomenal. Craig writes in, Andrew Fialco is such a film genius, he should have won an Oscar. I agree with that. Michael writes in, we can win the division. The division has gotten worse, and the Jets have gotten better. So, yes, I need the Jets to win the division. That's the goal. That's where it starts. Salty teacher, making it rain. Hit it. Money, 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 money. Unbelievable, folks. Unfreaking believable. All right, let's get to some calls. This guy called earlier. He was down in the dumps. He was screaming, I need Tyrone Smith. His name is Tyron, but I need him. Ladies and gentlemen, Neil, first up tonight. Hello, Neil. Jake, it's. It's what my son calls the reverse mush, okay? When I say something that's not going to happen, it happens. It's the reverse <laughs> mush. That's what I am, the reverse mush. So in honor of the reverse mush, I still have a D, <laughs> but now I'm going to a C. I want Bakhtiari. I want to get a few more guys. And then we're going to take it up a notch. Oh, Michelle's in the background yes, here. Jake, I have a question for you. Uh-oh. Hello, no. Michelle. She's going to you're going to splash water on our good time here. Don't do it. I have a question. Uh-oh. Is he going to be vice president or is he going to be quarterback? <laughs> he, he, he's going to do both. If, if Rodgers campaigns for six days a week but plays on Sunday, he's still the best quarterback. That yeah, yeah. We're all okay with that. Michelle. <laughs> he's not. But, but let me just say. Just say I'm putting it out there. Uh, don't put it out there. I'm Michelle. putting it out. What does he do? Quarterback or VP? Both. The offensive line is now the secret he's service. He's not doing both. Yeah, he could do it, Michelle. No, the he's... vice president, please. No, no, no. <laughs> you have Kamala one... Harris has gone three places in three years. Kamala she said, Harris please. Kamala Harris has not been anywhere. It doesn't oh matter. My God. It doesn't no, matter. No. All right, come on. Come on. Get out of here. Okay. Come on. <laughs> right, enough. <laughs> enough. You're taking my steam. Okay. Look. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, get, I, I'll say it again. Um, the reverse mush, it worked, guys. You know, again, I needed to do it. I needed to vent. I think Joe Douglas was listening to our earlier show, and he said, Jesus Christ, everybody's going a little crazy here. We better put the... Finally, we got to Louis Vuitton. He finally found the Louis Vuitton store and got out of the Walmart store and spent some money. But... I want Bakhtiari to back up Smith in case he goes down for those three or four games. We need some insurance. So let's get Bakhtiari because, again, that's another guy that could protect Rodgers. We know when he plays, he protects. And he could be a good – a good. Uh, he could be like a cob, you know, for, uh, you know, for the receivers. Bakhtiari could teach these young guys. We still have to get a tackle – not a tackle – I want to get the best available guy and the second, he, you know, one thing, this Johnson Powers guy, the center, right, Jake? How about we move back and then we get a second rounder 
And then with the later round, we could take this guy, Jackson Powers. We can move, still move Tittman to guard. Oh, my God. Now we have Bakhtiari. We have Smith at tackle. We got this guy, Jace, this guy Powers as a center. We move Tittman to guard. Now we have depth. Now we have seven quality guys because you know we're going to, you know, one or two are going to go down. We have seven quality linemen, and we that and we use this guy as a late round pick, and we still could get a top receiver in the in, in you know number sixteen, seventeen. Where the, do you think this guy the, Powers is going to go? The the possibility of that is on the table now that you've solidified the O line. The the, the right. moves are endless. I am team trade down and get picks, or yes. trade up and get me Malik Neighbors. Jake, I've made all thirteen of my points. Before you cut me off again, I'm going to throw myself out this goddamn window. I love it. Neil called in the angriest we've seen him. He was souring on the general manager. He demanded Tyrone Smith. And Joe Douglas said, I can't get you Tyrone, but I can get you Tyron. And here comes Tyron Smith. He's on the Jets. How do you think is possible, Neil? Where's JJ at? Where's JJ? They still still upset the Jets didn't sign anyone 10 minutes into the start of legal tampering. Last I checked, they signed the best backup quarterback that was available, the best offensive lineman that was available. They upgraded that left guard over that stiff Lake and Tomlinson. And oh yeah. Oh, you mean to tell me they were able to trade a sixth round pick to get an average right tackle who's durable, who only has a $5.5 million cap hit, depending on what the cap hit for uh, for what Tyron ends up being, because it's not going to be $20 million. We're probably talking about, let's say it's $13 million or $15 million, the cap hit. It's probably less than that, to be honest. I'm sure they put like dummy years on this contract. We're talking about an offensive tackle left and right. That's probably less than a $20 million total cap hit. I mean, that is good GMing by Joe Douglas. So we have gotten on him for a lot, and it's deserved. But that is what we like to say in the business. Good GMing by Joseph Douglas. You can't deny it. That's why, as down as I have been on Douglas, I never was on board with firing him, and I was never going to pretend like he doesn't have some sort of idea what he's doing. Because he has shown you he can make good moves. And this is clearly one of them. I love it. Let me get caught up on some more super chats here. Arizona Jet says she asked JD if he has prote- uh, if he has protection. Signs Tyron. You talk about building a wall. Leany says Jake, you're drinking Hennessy. I'm drinking Crown Royal. I love it. Let's go, Leany. Let's go, everyone. If you're calling in tonight, I'm expecting you to have a drink in your hand. Mad Genius says, can Brock Bowers at ten be a possibility now? Yes. Yes. The answer is yes. I don't know if they'll do it, but the answer is yes. It was it was a non-starter for me if you didn't sign Tyron Smith. You could have signed Trent Brown, Jonah Williams. You could have, the only lineman they could have signed where I would tell you Brock Bowers is in play at ten is Tyron Smith. He's that good. I still don't think ultimately the Jets take him, but we can't roll it out. How about this stat I'm seeing here on Tyron Smith from Michael Nadia? Since 2018, five sacks allowed in 56 starts. Jets left tackles allowed 16 sacks in 2023 alone. I don't think people realize the upgrade we're looking at here. JJ says, happy for y'all. This reminds me of how the Texans fans felt after the Hunter signing. Enjoy it, boys. (laughs) We are. Daniel says, Connor Hughes hinting the next domino is OBJ. I mean, if it's OBJ on like a prove it deal, it's it's more doable than just he's our answer at receiver. Malik Neighbors and OBJ, I I'll live with now that they've solidified the O line. For example, Cartman says Joseph Eugene Douglas. Live look at Joe. Darnell Town says I want in on bringing happiness and joy to Jet fans. Money, 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 money. <laughs> He has given the gift of 10 memberships. Mark says, oh, what a night. Michael says, let's go all in and trade up the four to take Harrison. (laughs) Tell you what. If that's even remotely possible, I'm in. 
Cool hand with a super chat. We have four number one picks that we have to pay. We should trade the 10th pick to Minnesota for Justin Jefferson. Minnesota picks 10th and 11th and trades up for a quarterback. I don't think that's enough for Justin Jefferson, Cool Hand. I like the idea, right? 10th pick for Justin Jefferson. I would. I think every Jeff fan would say, hell yeah. But that's not enough. Justin Jefferson's going for more than just one pick, even if that pick's in the top 10. Aurora writes in, yes, I told you, I think the best move is to go with a veteran O-lineman for this upcoming season. Also excited to drink tears from Cowboys fans. <laughs> I love it. Dano says, to all the non-believers, 32nd offense in the league. Yeah, how about that, man? I here, Here's a prediction. The Jets will not have the 32nd ranked offense in football this year. Derek says, Jake, should we start thinking of, of, of nicknames for our O-line? The Gus Buster of O-lines. I mean, shouldn't the Jets offensive line in theory be called the Secret Service? I'm just saying. Jonathan writes in, holy crap, Brees Hall is going to feast next year. LFG, JD the Goat for 364 more days. Joe Douglas said, you think I'm backed into a corner? You think I'm getting fired? Watch me. All right, let's see. Has Brees Hall tweeted yet? Brees Hall tweeted. Oh, he retweeted Sabidi. And he tweeted, LFG. Yeah, he's happy. Love it. Love it. This is unreal. Free agent tackle Tyron Smith tells Josina Anderson in a phone call on the phone, quote, I would have loved to have stayed home in Dallas, but as we know, as a business, the way it works, I still feel like the Jets have an opportunity to win. And anything I can do for the team to help them out, I'm going to do it. Well, Smith told me that he has not spoken with Aaron Rodgers yet. He said this is about playing with Jets QB1. I feel like it's going to be amazing. Of course, me being with Dallas, he's kicked our butts twice in the playoffs, so I know what he's capable of. Honestly, I'm just excited about the opportunity. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Still think Aaron Rodgers won't help you bring in talent? You don't get Tyron Smith on this deal without him. Jonathan says, holy crap, Reese is going to feast. Amen. Cuts Barbecue says, JD now showers with the team so we can show them how to sweat. Good God, man. <laughs> Antonio writes in, with all the cap space they're freeing up, we could be cooking up a trade for a wide receiver one or two. Next, Garrett Diggs looking lonely, for example. Trade back from 10. Thomas Jr. in the teens. O-line depth in the second. I'll give you a scenario I would love. Trade out of 10. Take Thomas Jr., Take Patrick Paul in round two. Sign me up. Any trade down I'm making, I need a second round pick. Garrett wants Bowers. It's possible. Tom B writes in, no Henny in the house. Booker's bourbon will have to do. Flexibility, a great problem to have. This draft will be fun. Cheers. NYJ says, football gods, please give us an injury-free camp. Please. Pound for pound kicks is now a new Asmaniac. Welcome aboard. Big Rush says, how do you gift memberships? You hit the money sign to the right, and you hit gift memberships, and then you get your shout-out. Crypto says, coaching needs to make it work. You know what needs to happen? The Jets just needed better talent. They have done that. Everardo says, go get Clowney and OBJ. I, I want Clowney more than Beckham, but Clowney's meeting with them on Tuesday. I'm in. Back to the calls we go. Let's go to Phenom. What's up, Phenom? Two times in one day, Jake. <laughs> Chill, relax. Nope. Let's get it. Let's we go. got it. Here's cheers to everybody. I almost, almost want to double down on tackles. I really do. Uh, I want to be the voice of reason here. I know you guys want offensive weapons. I understand that. This ain't fantasy football. This is professional football. The teams that block and tackle the best win. We have the opportunity to set ourselves up for years if we pick a, a, another tackle because Tyron is a short-term answer. It's not long-term. So uh, I'm believing the hype, but let's back up the hype with something in the future and let's make that still a tackle. But we have options, so the options are open. We have many directions we can go. Let's make a smart decision, and we can roll. We can definitely roll. Let's go. Let's go, Phenom. 
Also, I got breaking news, Jet fans. More good news. Mike Williams will meet with the Jets on Monday. Mike Williams meeting with the Jets Monday. That's the receiver Sauce was referring to. It's coming to the facility. I love it. And we'll meet with the Panthers Tuesday. If I'm the Jets and you like them, don't let them get out of the building on Monday. If the Jets come away with Mike Williams and they sign Tyron Smith, oh, my God, is that a great free agent haul. Let's go. Let's go. Get Mike Williams. And then you still could take another receiver. Let's go. Mike Williams meeting with the Jets on Monday. Breaking news. Hit the like button if you like that news. I know I do. I'll take a swing of handy to that. Let's go, Joe. Joe's on a heater right now, folks. Mm. Rob the Jet fan up next. What's up, Rob? Here we go, Jake. Here we go, buddy. Let's go, baby. Cheers, Rob. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Tell uh, Neil to keep ranting. It's working. <laughs> yeah, it it's took working. Neil. It, it took Neil to really test his loyalty to this general manager for 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 this to happen. <laughs> Let's go, Neil. Let's go, buddy. But um, I, I don't agree with him with the Bakhtiari. I don't want any part of that walking injury. That, that guy, like I told you, he'll look at Giant Stadium turf. And he'll be injured. I I think it's a waste of money for that guy. I, if, it's a, not, if it's a one year deal, though, it's not the worst thing in the world to have. Like, imagine like Tyron Smith is backed up by another All Pro left tackle. It's not, in theory, it's not the worst idea if it's a one year deal. Yeah, two two guys who get injured a lot. I mean, well, it's you, well, you just piece it together. If Tyron Smith's playing thirteen games, and Bakhtiari could play the other five. There you go. But, you know, but let's be honest, Jake, he's not going to come that cheap like everyone's thinking. I don't think Bakhtiari is going to be two or three or four million. He's going to be some money, don't you think? I, uh, I, much, I, think I think he'll give the Jets a discount because I don't think he's going to have a big market with all the injuries. Uh, how much? You had to throw up a number that you think is a safe bet. Seven, eight million? Five million with incentives for games played. You know what? If it's five million with games incentive and he's just strictly a uh, break glass just in case type of thing, I can live with that. Now, Jake, as far as the draft, this really opens things up wide open, especially if we sign Mike Williams, okay? Oh, yeah. Now you're talking, you could still obviously draft a left tackle because it's true. Uh, um, uh, what call uh, what call uh, Tyron is, is, you know, not the long-term solution. So, you know, if Fashano is there at 10, I think you still got to go with Fashano. I mean, or obviously all if he was there. Uh, so you can't just uh, think that like, you know, okay, we're all set. We're done with the tackles. I mean, you know, uh, you, you still have to go tackle. If those guys are gone, then like you said, you could trade down. You could, uh, you know, unless a, a, a doomsday was there, then I would, I would take him. But if not, trade down, uh, um, grab an, another uh, tackle and a wide receiver, and get that second round pick. Correct? What do you think? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I look, I, I, I think the Jets should either trade back or trade up. I, I think they're in such a good spot now with this draft and the quarterback run that's coming that they, they, they should. They should either take advantage of one of these better players starting to slide and go up and get alt if you can get them, or if Neighbors drops or Dunze drops and you can get them, I'm good with it. Or trade back, man. Trade back and take Troy Fontana, who could play guard and tackle. How great would that be? You draft AVT reincarnated, so you're covered in case, God forbid, AVT gets hurt again. And when Tyron Smith gets hurt, you're covered. That, to me, is what you now could do. Or if somehow Alt makes it the 10 or Fashana makes it the 10, you could still take them. But you don't have to now go O-lineman at 10 no matter what. And I think the Jets should try and recoup some extra picks here. Right? I mean, think about it. You have Moses and Tyron Smith on one-year deals. Trade out, take a lineman, get a second-round pick, take another receiver. If you're signing Mike Williams, he's on a one-year deal. So you could address the short-term and the long-term in an all-in year by trading out of 10. I'm team trade out of 10 right now. I want picks.
Living like a local says, don't draft offensive tackle at 10. He won't start over Smith and Moses. You can't have your 10th pick sit. Uh, you actually can because Tyron Smith is not playing 17 games next year. We know this. But I'm with you on get a weapon slash trade down. New York Bully says, I wouldn't be surprised if we trade pick 10 for Justin Jefferson in a late rounder now. I don't think people realize Justin Jefferson is going for more than one first round pick. He's the best receiver in the league. Sweaty KFC says, you ain't happy. You happy JD ain't give Smith money to Huff now. I'm happy they got Tyron Smith. Thrilled. And my argument the day they let Huff walk was, if you're going to let him walk, you better go and reinvest this and get the best offensive lineman on the market, which they did. So I give credit to Joe Douglas for that, 100%. Brand new Patreon shout out. Folks, the Discord was off the chain earlier before I signed on. Dimitri just became our latest Patreon member. Patreon.com slash Jake Asman Show. It is a party in there. Also, big shout out to Rob Daniels and Hall of Famer Bill Walton, who joined the Patreon earlier today. Hennessy says, Neil reverse mush for Higgins or Jefferson, please. Yeah, Neil, call it and scream the Jets haven't uh, traded for Higgins or Jefferson yet. Dan says, Mike Williams visiting the Jets Monday. Williams visits on Monday. Clowney on Tuesday. Sign them both. Daniel says, Mike Williams visiting the Jets. Yes, sir. Altoona says, Jets built a wall. And Mexico paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Matt says, if Mike Williams is visiting Monday, yes. I'm just catching up on Super Chats here. Clearly, everyone's breaking news. Mike Williams is visiting on Monday. Jeffrey says, hey, Jake, tomorrow's going to be a rough Hennessy chugger. Rough. I pulled an all-nighter today. We'll just we'll just stay. You can't be hung over if you don't stop drinking. Hmm. I'm going to need a commercial break to refill my Henny bottle over there, though. Uh, King Lowski says, Brees will be the number one pick in fantasy for sure. Brees, Brees Hall is going top five in your fantasy drafts this year. He might be the number one pick, honestly, now I think about it. Like, do people realize how good of a year Brees Hall had? He had 1,600 scrimmage yards with the worst offensive line in the league. It's insane what he did. Coming up a torn ACL. Cuts is now a channel member. Welcome aboard, Cuts. How's your barbecue? Is it good? I'd love to try it. Justin writes in, Jets meeting with Williams on Monday. Thoughts? I love it. Once again, to everyone who super chatted, Mike Williams with the Jets. I see it. I thank you for the money. It's tremendous. All right. I'll bathe in your super chats. I love it. I'm so excited. Arizona says, is there a way we could Boyd, Williams, and Bowers? Yes, there is. There is. It's not impossible. Tyler Boyd and Mike Williams. I mean, Williams, I think, is signing a one-year deal. So I, I think they could. I, I think it'd be two of the three there. Dano says, people like Joe and Clark will never feel these highs. Dude, Joe Douglas could cure cancer, and Joe and Clark would be pissed it didn't happen fast enough. People like that disgust me. <laughs> There's no point in arguing with them. They'll never be happy. Carlos says, Elijah Craig Burren in your honor. J-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. I'm guessing that's a bourbon, right? Love it. Haskell writes in, if we sign Mike Williams, him and Garrett on the outside, Brees in the backfield, and we draft Brock Bowers, I'm breathing. Breathing. LFG, J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Let's go. Let's go. Folks, when it comes to the drinking, there are a couple people we think about. But we think about this guy more than anyone else. It's time for another V-Man call. Hopefully he no sleeping. Adios mio. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, V-Man. Okay, what are we drinking? So we, I, have my, I have my beer or I have Ronda Barlito. V man, let it rip. Uh, well, I haven't had this in a while. I mean, this stuff is impossible to find in the States, so that's why I save it for special occasions. Well, of course it is. <laughs> Literally, I uh, there's one one store in like the five boroughs I know that sells it. The hardest to find. Uh, well, yeah, but I'm, man, I'm it, happy for you, V man. What are your thoughts on the move? Oh, I love it. I mean, it's great. I mean, like I said, they they're going all in. This might. I mean, you think about it. I mean, you got all pro left tackle. You got an all pro right guard. You got a guy who's probably going to grow into being an all pro center. This could arguably be one of the best Jets offensive lines in team history. You know, 
on par with maybe, you know, the Jets O-lines of the late 2000s. Heck, even the Jets' greatest O-line, which if I remember, they did a – someone did a list ranking it on one of those Jets blogs a while back. I think it was 1966 or something. I was reading it on a blog somewhere. It, it, it's their best O-line on paper since 2015. It's probably as good as 2010 if Tyron if, – if Tyron plays – if you, you sign for 13 games right now, he's yeah, the best left tackle certain. on the team since the Shaw Ferguson without question. No, I, I agree completely. You know, it's like – it is insane. And you're right about everyone in this division. Everyone in this division is getting crappy, getting worse. I mean, let's be honest. We've we've had the Bills number. We, the, the Patriots are a non-factor. That's number one. We've had the Bills number. The Dolphins can't beat anybody, anybody good. And let's be real, they're going to regress. It, they, they're, and they're going to fall. Like, who, who's, who's stopping us in this division? And then who who do you – the only team you really scares you, the only two teams in the in the AFC that really scare you, that's the Chiefs and the Bengals. Those are the only two teams right now that, are gonna, that I worry about. I'm I, not worried. I, I think it's the Chiefs in their own tier, and I think everyone else year to year has a shot. I, I think that's how I look at the AF. No, no one had the Ravens a year ago as the one seed, and look what happened. You keep you keep Rodgers healthy. You have a top five defense, top five special teams unit. They got Zerline and Morstead officially back, and let's go. Let's let's make a no, run. No, I agree. I agree, like I said, but I want to ask you right now with, with with how you feel about the Jets right now with this offensive line, with this defense, with the fact that they're probably going to add another receiver. To put up to put alongside Garrett Wilson to free him up. Who scares you in the AFC besides the Chiefs? No one. Uh, you tell me Aaron Rodgers is healthy. You take your chance. I'd say, like I said, besides, besides the Chiefs, maybe the Bengals. That's the only other team I can think of that were that would worry me. But besides that, there's nobody. And we saw this Jets defense give Mahomes some serious fits. So I'll take my shot in a tight. I'll take my shot in the playoffs against Mahomes. I don't know if we're going to win, but it'll be it'll be one hell of a fight. Now, V-Man, let me ask you this. What would you like to say to all the people out there who said Joe Douglas is you? He's sleeping on the job. He's not building a winning team. He's doing this all day long. Well, what would say, you like to say to the haters, V-Man? I say, what are you saying now? Like, what are you going to say now? Tell me, tell me what you're going to say now. At, you see the actions? Actions speak louder than words, my friends. Ladies and gentlemen, sing along. That's the end of that V-Man call. Now he can go back to sleeping. <laughs> ah, we love it. Late night V-Man, folks. The big fella up next with the Chad Pennington jersey on. What's up, big fella? What's up, Jake? Um, Really happy about this. All I got to say is, Let's fucking go. <laughs> we can, we're taking this division this year. That's it. We're going to the playoffs. We have all the cards lined up now. I say take, I say trade back, get Fotanu. I know people are saying that Penix, you know, isn't going to be in the second. All the Dan Jeremiah, I think, said he, he was going to be in the second. Um, and then get Tez Walker, and we're all set. Jake, this is a great fucking night. I woke my wife up. I yelled to my kid. Um, my daughter's like, what's wrong? I'm like, you don't get it. The fucking Jets are going to do it this year. We're going to the playoffs. The 13 years is over. It's done. So anyway, I drank all my fucking moonshine. Don't have it anymore. I got to go out and get some, uh, and let's go Jets. Ladies and gentlemen, the big fella. When big fella is there talking about his wife, you know what I thought of? Boy Green's fiance. She's in trouble, folks. All right? Uh, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Unreal, man. I can't believe they got Tyron Smith. I, I said yesterday, like I, I had heard yesterday they were talking with him, which is why I said it when we did the live stream yesterday when I was – you know, at the ESPN offices, but I, I just figured someone would give a price and it'd be too much. And the Jets were like, not happening, man. We're getting them. Man. Jorge says, money, 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 money. Play it again. 
Hey, the next time someone buys a membership for, for listeners, or hey, it's coming. But you know what? Since you super chatted me and the vibes are high, Joe Douglas, making it rain, folks. Money, 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 money. Let's go. Aria writes in, every week the Jet Toe Line should come in with all black suits and dark tinted sunglasses, walking with A-Rod in the middle. Hashtag Secret Service. I love it. That should be their nickname this year. Sauce Gardner is the Secretary of Defense, and the Jets' offensive line is the Secret Service. I love it. Ladies and gentlemen, the only thing that can make this night better is some Charles Gorman Mother's Chicken Soup. Charles is up next. Hello, Charles. Hey, Jake. How are you? How are you, Charles? Good. And I'm sorry I didn't have any chicken soup today. Um, it's Lenten season for us Christians slash Catholics, so I had a calzone for dinner. Ah, how was it, Charles? It was delicious. I'm happy for you and your family. Anyways, uh, I wanted to just sign Tyron Smith, and I'm a happy son of a bitch. Charles, love it. Love it. Now bring me some chicken soup for the rest of us. Hello, Jake. I just had dinner. Uh, I had a couple of servings of chicken soup. My mother's homemade chicken soup. Hey, Charles, I made some of that chicken soup. It was delicious. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. Hey, I know it's delicious. I made some of it. I love to eat, so what can I say? <laughs> Send it this way, Charles. <laughs> I was not expecting. I love this show, man. We got the best callers. We really do. I love it, man. I... I... Honestly, I'm out of Hennessy here, so I got to restock. You know, I have some other liquor will pop open here, but I could use some Charles chicken soup. I'm not going to lie to you all. All right. Uh, Chris Super Chat's in. The best part is that our young bucks are all grown up. This year's team is going to be special, man. So many more options when you have a solid foundation up front. Let's go. We're, we're building a wall, and Woody Johnson's paying for it. Let's go. <laughs> Holy crap. The big fella. Am I seeing this right? 20 memberships? Are you kidding me, big fella? Oh, my God. Holy bleep. Money, 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 money. <laughs> Holy crap. By my math tonight, all right, we have now had 73 new channel members. 73. If you did not get a channel membership yet, stay by because someone's – you're all going to be as maniacs by the end of the night. Otherwise, you just have crap luck if you haven't gotten one, honestly. All right. <laughs> Chris just became an as maniac. Thank you, Chris. Big Bundes says, still want tackle in round one. Expect to win playing ahead. Look, Bakhtiari is not playing 17. Oh, excuse me, Bakhtiari. I'd sign Bakhtiari to a one year deal, by the way. Smith's not playing 17 games. You could still take a tackle in round one. You also could trade out of 10. This is, what I, this is my ideal scenario. You say, Jake, what do you want the Jets to do? Right now, Subject to change because they might add Mike Williams next week or sign Tyler Boyd. I want the Jets to trade back, take Troy Fontanu, who could play guard and tackle. So I'm covered if Smith gets hurt. I'm covered if ABT gets hurt. I have Fontanu, who's starting for me a year from now, because Smith and Moses are both free agents. One of them slides in to start because that's when you got to start worrying about paying Garrett and Sauce and getting contracts done. So you don't want to be paying both tackles big money. You want one on a rookie deal. That's cost efficiency. But more importantly, I'm getting a second round pick and I'm going to take a tackle uh, or a receiver in round two. Get me Xavier Worthy or Lad McConkey with my second round pick. Ricky Purcell with my second round pick. I, I'm tapping in to this receiver uh, draft. Because it's too good not to. And if you get a second round pick, it's easier to do it. Jorge with a super chat. Becton's probably thinking, shit, if I only knew. Aside from injuries, he was a bark with no bite. Sorry. He just, he wasn't the same player two years after not playing football. And I like Makai personally. I wish him well. But, I mean, going from Makai Becton and Dwayne Brown to Tyron Smith and Morgan Moses is like going from Zach Wilson to Aaron Rodgers at quarterback. Just wait. By the way, where are the Wilson truthers at? Where are you at tonight, folks? Zach Wilson, no one wants him. Why is that? If he's so good, if he's so amazing, right? Sam Darnold's gotten how many more opportunities since he's left the Jets? 
Kenny Pickett got traded today. Sam Howell has already been traded. Mac Jones has already been traded. If if the Jets were were the problem, why Zach Wilson was statistically one of the worst quarterbacks in the history of the profession, why is he still a Jet? Hmm. King and Dream says, my GJ, donation towards that Henny Fund, my G. Anything is possible, jet the F up. All right, this is the last Henny sip right here, and then we're going to restock with some more liquor. I got some Fireman Ed Lager we're cracking open next. Mm. Let's go. Ron Rice writes in, Swiss Army Knife, Rock Bowers, still pick O-Lineman in the third. If they took Bowers now, they should do it in a trade back. Right? If you're going to go Bowers, can you move back a couple spots and get an extra pick? Then you really could sell me on that. I'll, I'll listen to it. But I, I still want another lineman, man. Once again, we know Tyron Smith's not making 17 starts. AVT season has ended in October the last two years. This does not mean you can't still address offensive line in a loaded O-line class. Dan says, Friday night shows are the best. Keep it up. Hey, when the Jets give us something to go live, this was the perfect time for a show, folks. I awoken from my nap like V-Man, and let's go. Phil, he's up next on the program. What's up, Phil? Yo, what up, Jake? I'm happy to go, bro. I'm fucking excited. I was on the couch playing Fortnite, just got my ass kicked. I had to walk the dog before I grabbed the collar. I look at my phone because the thing's always going. I look at that shit, and I'm staring at Tyron Smith. Bro, I jumped out of the couch. I'm a big (laughs) I jumped out of the couch. <laughs> Fuck go. I'm already doing my Irish weekend. Hey. So, you know what I mean? So the luck of the go. Irish, baby. Happy St. Patrick's Day, Jet fans. Let's go. Cheers. <clears throat> Cheers. I got my uh, more set shirt on. Can't really see it. I love that. Yeah, but, bro, I'm saying it's a trade back, without a doubt. Trade back. Give me a trade back. Grab me one of five, six tackles that are there that are all decent class. And then give me the Elijah Moore year. Don't give me his personality, but give me give me a receiver, middle of the second round. Somebody's going to be thirsty for one of the quarterbacks. A thousand percent. Oh, a thousand percent. Phil, I love it, man. I love it. Drink up today. Uh, happy St. Patrick's Day, Jet fans. Joe Douglas said it's the luck of the Irish, baby. Holy crap! Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, Glenny. Just dropped his you know what on the table. Holy bleep. 50 channel memberships were just gifted. Wow. Money, 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 money. money. Gladdy, oh my goodness. Money, 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 money. 50. Five. Oh, that for those who don't know, that is $250 cash Glady just spent. For Jake Asman Show listeners. That is unbelievable, Gladdy. Wow. 50. We have we have added 123 Asmaniacs tonight. I mean, I, I see the names here. Dylan, Brandon Frey, Eric, Luke. I, I mean, I can't I, I'm, I, I can't read it. 50 names. Steve, King Saria, Fonz, Michael, uh, Solid, Leo, uh, Stu, JT, David Aaron. I mean, oh, my God. It just... I, I can't. It's just it's the entire chat. Unreal. Unreal, Gleddy. Holy clap. Gleddy. 50 memberships. Wow. Honestly, I gotta keep this stream going, man. And by the end of the night, everyone's getting a channel membership the way this is going. Good lord. Adam is too cool. Trade with Cincinnati, get Higgins instead of a second. I I, I wouldn't trade the tenth pick for Higgins straight up. To me, that's an overpay. I like T. Higgins. I don't think he's worth a 10th pick. I don't. I think it's a better re- use of resources to trade down and get more picks. How about you trade down, get more picks, and then you try and swing a deal for Higgins? Now, that's a possibility. But I, I, I wouldn't do 10th pick straight up for Higgins. Big fella says, make as America great again. <laughs> oh, too good, man. Too good. More calls right now. Callie Jetland on the road. What's up, Callie? What's good? J A K 
E. Jake. 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 What is good, my brother? What is good? Listen, do me a favor, Jake. Tell me the first, just name the first four players you thought that was a good trade and give me one second in between when you say their names. Give me the, what what was the question? Give me the, just name the first four top, top players that we traded for. And in between each one, give me one second between them. I'm going to say something. Well, they had, well, Tyron Smith was a signing, so. What? (laughs) Okay, so let me just name everybody. I got you. Uh, Morgan Moses. What? (laughs) John Simpson. What? Tyrod Taylor. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I love, you know what? Oh, Screw man. It. I Morstead. love it. I what? <laughs> Greg the Legs Erlon. What? Let's go, Callie. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. What? Y'all can't say shit to us now. What? What? Let's go. I love it. Great call. Great call. And by the way, today's the one year anniversary of Aaron Rodgers saying he wanted to play for the Jets. So back to back years of just euphoria for the Jet fan. And it's well deserved after the shit we've been through. I love it. Off season champs are good, baby. We've done it. <laughs> Let's go. Dad says. We need a sermon from the preacher of the rum. King Lowski, call in. You're going right to the front of the line. The people have demanded it. Eddie writes in, having got Smith, go for the best receiver in the lower list round by trading down for the second round offensive line or third round. Yeah, look, I, I, I'm team trade down. Unless you tell me all is there or neighbors is there, I want to trade back. Trade back. Get me Troy Fontanu. Get me Tyler Guyton. Get me Latham or Marius Mims. It's all a dart throw anyway. Get me extra picks now that O-line is less of a, we have to go tackle a 10 no matter what. No, you don't. You still can. You still can go O-lineman in the first round. But let's get a second round pick and continue to add to this team with cost-efficient players. Daniel Murphy says, JD made this move strictly to see if he could get Jake hammered on a stream. Oh, we're getting hammered, all right. Quick break for me to refill my Hennessy bottle here uh, and for me to open a Fireman Ed Lager. And in honor of the Jets acquiring Tyron Smith, I think what we need to do is celebrate with a little bass, bass, and Jake. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for bass, bass, and Jake. Get it started, Gator. Bass, bass, and Jake. Bass, bass, and Jake. Bass, bass, and Jake. Bass, bass, and Jake. Whistle, which always cut the line. And the boy, a really fine. And she's so chucking and bopping, she's so chucking and bopping. you know she gets real happy. Real happy if that female book goes around. Hey, Gator, it's a family show. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Bass, bass, and Jake. Bass, bass, and Jake. Bass, bass, and Jake. Space and Jake. Let's go to Lane, who's up next. Hello, Lane. Oh, hi. Hello, Hello, Lane. How is everything? Yes. You're on the air, Lane. Oh, hello. Hello, Lane. Hi. So, yeah, I'm happy about the way the Jets played played today, and you know they moved the ball. And they did great. Look, okay. Who, and I mean, I know it was raining out. Did you see the game? No, I didn't watch it. What happened? Well, they won. They <laughs> took, and the other team lost. Lay, <laughs> <Lane>, thank you. <laughs> Come on, man. It can't be a real call. <laughs> we head out to the Gus Buster Umbrella Hotline and we bring on the lane train. I, I feel the same way about the Jets. They play the hardest, but I have a question. I saw the play and you know what happened? He blocked it. I also have to say, how do you feel about Eliza um, Morse? 
Do you think they should keep him next year, or do you build it up for net for who to have for next year? Um, I feel upset about the game tonight. I know they tried hard. I watched it. There's nothing really you could do. But yeah, I'm just sitting in my room thinking why they they did not win. And I heard the the last caller. She was upset also. There was like drinking. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Happy New Year, Lane. This one is for the Lane train. We have restocked on the Henny. Mm. Let's go. And I specifically played that one because in that video, the great Leany in North Carolina was mentioned. Leany, you're up next. Hello, Leany. Hey, Jake. <laughs> Oh, my God, I'm laughing. I'm sorry, everybody. Oh, let me try to stop laughing. Oh, okay, so I was very excited. I was watching my UNC Tar Heels going into the ACC tournament, and they won tonight. And then all of a sudden, bing, 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 and I'm here on my phone, and I'm like, what's that? Pick it up, and we signed Smith. Very excited. Let's go. Um, so I had to call in because now we could do anything. We can move up. We can stay where we are. We can trade back. Like JD, now we can do anything. So I'm so excited. And I texted my son-in-law because he's a Cowboys fan. And I told him like, thanks a lot. Love it. And he's like, yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> so uh, he was kind of like a little bit perturbed, but what are you going to do? But I'm very, very excited. And the first thing I thought about when I actually, when I saw that, I was like, ah, oh, Neil, because he, <laughs> he was complaining and very upset. I want Smith. I want Smith. So we got him, Neil. And look, I got my Crown Royale, the salty caramel, and you got your Henny. And Jake, you know, I love you, buddy, right? Lady. You have been, I, I know you're tired and you're still there. So I appreciate it. And I love everybody, love the Discord. Uh, I'm so excited. I can't wait. Like, we could do anything now. So let's fucking go. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. <laughs> let's go, lady. Cheers. Amazing. Lady, late night, letting it rip. Let's go. Let's go. And look, we know the Lane train picks his spots when to call in, right? Lane is a showman. He's a performer. He doesn't call in all the time just because you want him to call in. He waits for the New York Jets to make the move of the offseason, to get an all-pro left tackle, to protect our Hall of Fame quarterback. Ladies and gentlemen, he's back. The Lane train. Hi. How are you? Bruce Hall. That's good. Lane, the Jets have an all-pro left tackle. Let's go. Hey. Hi. Um, yeah, I'm so happy. Um, it's great. I think that, you know, I mean, this season hopefully will be the Jets' year. Let's hope. To, Lane. To, Let's to, hope. to do well. Lane, how do you um, feel about the Jets improving their offensive line? I think it's going to be good. And um, lost some weight also. <laughs> you you lost some weight? Yeah. You look good. You look slim. Yeah, well, because, you know, I cut back on the milky ice cream and stuff. But, mm. you know, anyway, yeah, I mean, I think the Jets are going to do good. I mean, going into next year, you, you know what? I don't know. Let's talk about more about every team. I mean, um, did you hear the news that they got rid of Saquon Barkley? All right, well, yeah, the, Gi know, the Giants let him How walk. do you feel? Yeah, yeah. Like, this is crazy, you know? Like, mm -hmm. are you crazy? Like, right. I'm pulling my hair out. Like, honestly, I'm, I'm stressed. I'm stressed. Ooh, ooh, excuse, excuse me, my French. Uh, um, but, yeah. How do you feel about the Jets finally signed? Was it a lineman that they got? And the player's name is what's his name? Tyron Smith. He should be good. Yeah. Um, 
Now, Lane, you know who's the most happy? The, the, you know who's the happiest person? Uh, of the coaching. Being, well, the, the coaching is certainly happy. But yeah, I know. What, your favorite player is really happy with this signing. Yeah. Bruce Hall. He's pumped. They will keep Bruce Hall. How do you feel about Huff, though? He's, his playing last year was not good. No, Look, Huff was good. He was really yeah, good. Yeah, I mean, he, he was great. I mean, I'm not really caring like, to argue about it with you, but, yeah, I mean – with all this e e e ESPN stuff, yeah, and wait, 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 give me a J E T S Jets Jets Jets. I need it. J E T S Jets 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 Jets. Let's I know. go. I haven't Lane called Lane. in. I we haven't called in for a while. Yeah, I've been really busy with uh, the other stuff, mostly the baseball. But yeah, it's almost base baseball season, but. I think the Jets should do good next year. Let's go, Lane. They pick draft 10. All right. Thank you. I got to go. Lane, thank you. Hi. Sorry, everybody. See you next call when we talk about sports again. The Lane train coming through. That's when you know it's a big night. Ladies and gentlemen, the people demanded our next caller to call in. They said, Jake, if he doesn't call in, I'm never watching your show again. So, obviously, when that happens... I knew this guy was going to come through. Why? Because he's our fearless leader. He's our king. King Lowski, next up. Hello, King Lowski. Jake, my brother. Jake, my brother. I'm at work, but the people <laughs> called, and I'm here to deliver, baby. We got him. We got him. Y'all thought we wasn't going to get him. We got him. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> but if y'all don't draft Brees Hall number one next year, I don't know what the hell y'all Oh, Tyron Smith gonna be mauling all you motherfuckers in the division next year. Oh, them frogfish don't wanna see us. Oh, them pussy ass Jews don't wanna see us. Oh, them pussy ass cats don't wanna see us. Oh, the division is ours, baby. JAC us, just, 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 JAC us, just, just, just. Let's go, baby. Yeah, let's go, King. How about it? Smash the King Oloski emoji if you're a channel member in the chat. Like the video. You got to like it after that. That's the energy in the Jets building right now. Let's go. Love it. Love it. We're back, baby. Our King has spoken. Long live the King. Man, we have the calls have been tremendous tonight. The Jets have landed, as Neil and Garden City would say, Tyrone Smith. <laughs> Let's go. Pumped. JR, Jake, can you please start a petition to get Jets owner to not waste this O line potential and finally swap the turf for natural grass? I am begging the Jets and the Giants to replace the turf. We all know it needs to be done. I don't really know the petition will change that, though. Joe says, trade down for Mr. Touchdown Brian Thomas Jr. Thomas Jr. is absolutely in play in a trade down, folks. Julio says, Lane is pure gold. Get that man a podcast. Lane, Lane is, I mean, he's the Lane train. Altoona says, Lane and, and Bobby are pumped. Oh, yeah. Dallas writes in. Jake's going to be sleeping like me, man, tomorrow after all the handy. Here's a live look at me tomorrow. Let's go. This one's for all the non-believers. Tyron Smith won't sign with the Jets. Oh, go to this team or that team. The Jets won't spend. Joe Douglas has his price. When you're about to be fired, you know what you do? You make adjustments. You take a chance. You swing on a guy who's an all-pro. Speaking of swings, cheers. Hmm. More calls right now. Let's go. NY Jets Florida is up next. What's up, NY? Hey, Jake, uh, it's hard to follow up on those two last calls. Uh, the probably the two greatest calls in the uh, Jake Asman history. 
Uh, I didn't know Lane Train was uh, so into his uh, dieting lately. I, that's a, that's a new one on me. Um, me too. I think I think Brock Bowers is the guy that um, maybe he's going to be in play because I watch a lot of Georgia football and I don't think he can cover that guy. You'd have to put a corner on that guy. He's he's physical. He's fast. And I mean, running after the catch, he's just hard. I know it's the it's college, but um, you know. He's a huge mismatch in the NFL. I do like the trade down scenarios, though, Jake, like you mentioned. But um, I I can see us if we can get down to the twenties, and then I know some people don't want to trade that low. Keon Coleman is there. Maybe if we get a second rounder, we can get uh, the the center uh, that Neil said from um, Oregon. He he yep. can do center guard, um, and then uh, Keon Coleman or McConkey. Uh, even if we got to add a pick to get back into the first round, because then you get the extra year on on their contract being a first rounder, also. One hundred percent. I I um I I just I love the idea of, of the trade down and t- still taking a receiver in, in that scenario because it's it's a loaded receiver class, and I could take a oh, I could yeah. take a, I, I could take Patrick Paul in round two and feel like I, I I got a really good value there with that second round pick, for example. And you could do it with the reverse. You could take Guyton. Or Fontano in a trade down, and then take Makaki, Xavier Worthy, whoever like that first round guy that slips around too. You're in range to now get him with that second round yeah. pick. I love it. Yeah. Um, Jake, I uh, wanted to ask you: Can you get Can you get Michael Lombardi back on the air and see what he likes? If he likes our uh, our picks, and um, uh, I, I wonder what he would say about that. Not that anyone cares, but uh, <laughs> him and anyway, I will get hey, into hey, it again. Hey, Jake, I'm a little late on your stream today because I was my work situation. But uh, did you ever name that person's name on YouTube that you wouldn't say? Can you say it now that you've been drinking? What What was the part? What, what, okay, what, did, so I, what did I not say? Give me some context. You were talk, the guys, somebody's name began with a P, the, sub, the P something. Oh. <laughs> now that you're drinking, can you say it? Someone else buys 50 more mem- memberships. I'll say that guy's username on the end. <laughs> I see where you're going with that. That's funny. For those who caught yesterday's show, I think it was yesterday. Um, Fly by night writes in. Let's go, Jake. We got some O linemen. Love what you do, my guy. Hope to call in soon. Have a shot together. J E T S. Jets, Jets, Jets. I mean, you talk about the timing of this signing. Friday night. Let's go. I was about to go out tonight, too. I had w- awoken from my V Man nap and I was headed out and then. Psh- I was like, oh, 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 we got him. Cheers. Also, time to open some Fireman Ed Lager. Let's go. Shout out to my guy, Fireman Ed, Ed Anzalone. Mm. Love it. Love it. My new Pebby. Off topic, but my beard is very soft. Thanks to Copper Johns. Shout out to Copper Johns. Shout out to Tyson Allrad. All right? His name is almost Tyron. It's close. He's the founder of Copper Johns. CopperJohnsBeard.com. Jet family-owned business. You can get their beard oils, which will make your beard smell nice, feel nice, look nice. Check it out. They also have aftershave products. They have soaps. They have colognes. They are the preeminent men's grooming product provider. You're going to find out there. Plus, you're supporting a Jet family-owned business. What's better than that? J-E-T-S, Jets, 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 Copper Johns, Jake 20 sign up. Oh, man. Let's put my chain back on. I had to remove the chain real quick when I got up to go restock my alcohol. Ugh. Let's go, baby. This is, this is sloppy. Yeah, this is a mess. All right. Dude, I should have thought, should have thought this one through. Hold on. There we go. All right, here we go. More of your calls right now. Let's go to Stephen Mitchell. Hello, Stephen. Jake, how are you? What's up, Steve? That background, let me tell you. I, I mean, I am Is turned that on cool? right now. Right. At, I don't even. I have no idea how I did that. Is that cool? All uh, right, let's go. Right? Hey, I thought you liked me. You put me after Glowski and after J- – come on. I've been waiting this long. Anyway, first of all, the first time I saw this news, I'm like, where's Jake? When is he going to go on? 
So thank you. And I really just wanted to say, most importantly, thank you for everything you do. But I want to make one point. We aren't on the clock to get fired. So you know what? I think this is pretty cool. You know what? There's a lot of flexibility now, right? Like, we are on the one, the two, right? Maybe Salah and maybe JD, right? But you know what? This now creates an opportunity. Like you said, you trade down, you get some picks, you could move some people in that could be behind Tyron and behind Moses and all that. Like, we're still a franchise that you and I aren't getting fired. Fans aren't getting fired. So you know what? This is hopefully a little bit of solace that, like, we are a real organization. Look, Steven, it's, 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 a, it's a great move, man, because as you said, the flexibility now, I mean, I could argue five different things the Jets could do, and I'd be on board with it. Whereas before this move, it was a non-starter for anyone to bring up anything besides take the best offensive tackle at 10 or go up and get a tackle if there's someone you love that much. Now I'm team trade back. Unreal. Nick T's up next. What's up, Nick? Jake, what's going on? Happy what's up, Nick? Friday, my man. Cheers. Let's go. You got Cheers. a drink, Nick? I'm Let's out. go. I'm Let's out. go. <laughs> I'm out. But hey, what what a great Friday. I get to watch wrestling, and then mid wrestling, I get to hear about the Jets actually doing something that we didn't think was going to happen. We have a tackle. Yeah, we have Tyrone Smith, as Neil would say. Well, you know what's funny is that you don't – I don't think that, that – it shouldn't get lost on us as fans, just as NFL fans in general. It's really tough to bring in a whole new offensive line, let alone like two tackles, veteran tackles, in an offseason. It's really tough to bring in two capable veteran tackles, I feel like. So for them to pull this off – it is really shocking. I expected one signing, one draft, like one first round draft pick. So, so I'm really shocked that that they they were able to pull this off. But, but happy. I still want. Look, Joe Douglas has it. Nick, Joe Douglas has a third leg, and tonight he proved it. He he was go, he was going to be aggressive. People were like, he's got his price. He's not going to defer. Like, you know what happened? Joe Douglas simply said, "I'm going to go out there and I'm going to get. I'm going to put us in a spot where we are going to fix the O line before the draft, and now we're set up to do a, a myriad." of different things. And the Jets last year don't make this move. So I, I give credit to the GM who knows he's GMing for his job to actually operate that way. That's what needed to be done. Yeah. He has to go on. And, and to that point, and that's where I, I, I agree with you that I, I like the positional versatility. If you're going to trade back to get a guy and to get a guard tackle. Cause I do like that idea because you're going to need someone who could fill in for one of these guys. But I do also, I'm not going to lie. I still think they should really strongly consider if you're going to be all in be all in trade up and still double down on a tackle go go for all go for Fashanu. if you think at six or seven with all the picks you got you can double down and get the line that yeah maybe they don't start all six uh, 17 whatever 18 this year right 17 but at least you have your piece and and here's the thing that we have to consider we're all expecting and our lips to God's ears that the Jets are a playoff team next year. So that first round draft pick is not going to be high. We're going to be as close as we'll ever be to those top picks if everything pans out the way that we want it to as fans. So trade up and get your franchise player now and double down and go all in and try and find at the very least. Yeah, you might whiff it, but at least you have your tackle, your anchor position for the next five, 10 years in theory. Yeah, uh, I mean, look, th 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 Nick, they have a million different options now, which selfishly, as someone who talks about this team every day, the amount of different shows we could do on scenarios excites me. Like, let's be real. We can only say take tackle at 10. The best way we could, like, like in a variety of different ways, eventually it's going to get old. Like, they needed the tackle. Now they have trade up in play, stick and pick, trade back, and it's not just for alignment now. It could be for a receiver. could be Brock Bowers. Brock Bowers is in play at 10 now, folks. This was the only scenario where I would be able to tell you I think they could take him. I mean, if you're – like, tonight's a great night to be a fan of the Jets. 
And we'll keep streaming here, folks. I mean, we, we, we have added 128 Asmaniacs so far tonight. Who's making it rain next? Shout out to our incredible viewership. We're got 1,200 people watching live right now. Please hit the like button if you want to support me away from YouTube. Patreon.com slash Jake Asman Show. This show this week, these shows are going to be off the chain. Mike Williams visiting the Jets Monday. Jadavian Clowney visiting the Jets Tuesday. We have only just begun. Joe Douglas got himself an all-pro stud left tackle to protect our Hall of Fame quarterback. Watch Tyron Smith dominate one of the best rushers in the league, Aiden Hutchinson here, in these cliffs for those just tuning in. Protection. Tyron Smith hasn't allowed more than two sacks in the season since 2017. Mekhi Becton allowed 12 last year. Let's go. Let's go. The hype, the excitement, it's real. I'm working on some special guests. Let me text Parkinson. Let me text Faria. We're, we're, we're sending out the bat line number. Maybe Boy Green will come on after he's done with his show. <laughs> Boomtown, he writes in, back-to-back off-season champs. Hell yeah. JJ, where are you at? It, where is JJ at? I want to splash. I want to be drowning in the water from the splash. I want a tsunami to hit me square in the face. Well, you got it, JJ. Let's go. All right. People accuse Joe Douglas of being me, man. He's not. Not my general manager. Not my GM. Uh, Eddie, thank you for the $1. Eddie the light. Joe writes in, Jay, can you tell the Joe D doubters to suck it? Hey, Joe D doubters. I'm being paid $5 to say suck it. Joe writes in, Kyle Pitts a better prospect than Bowers go receiver. I think Bowers is a better prospect than Pitts, but that's not really the point. Joseph Webb, five more memberships have been gifted. Here we go. Hold up the money sign. Money, 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 money. Let's go. Bad eyesight says, my favorite thing about these O-line moves is they are Keith Carter proof. He won't have to coach up anyone. Pretty much, man. Like Tyron Smith can survive Keith Carter. He's an all-pro. He's a future Hall of Famer. Ja Prime writes in, let's get Bowers. No more three and outs. Let's go. Bowers at 10 is possible. Ryan King says, L-F-G-J-J-E-T-S. Shout out to Ryan King. Channel member for six months. A legend. Big fella, Alan Hahn, trashing the Jets yesterday. He could get the F-H. G-F-H? What does that stand for? I don't know. Either way, I'm sure Alan Hahn, who is a Jet fan, Loves this move. That's why so you got to be a little patient when it comes to free agency, man. Like, maybe the Jets weren't pouncing on some of these old linemen because their plan all along was Tyron Smith and a Morgan Moses trade. No one had Morgan Moses on their bingo card as an option. Nobody. Let's go to Mark Ferraro. He's up next. What's up, Mark? Jake, what's going on, man? Here's Mark. Let's go, baby. What? I mean, what a tremendous move. I was about to finish up my preparation for my fancy baseball draft tomorrow night boom notification smith's the jet unbelievable i love seeing everyone here tonight so pumped up for the move keep drinking my guy thank you for everything you do man i appreciate it as always you're the man and uh yeah like everyone's been saying too so much flexibility in the draft we can do pretty much anything now you know let me say this all right anything is possible mark Ah, I like it there. Got the mm -hmm. fireball going tonight, of course. Love it. Got, to Love it. Up. Got the jet sign in the back right there. So, yeah, I mean, with tremendous move. And obviously, like you mentioned with Mike Williams, don't let him leave on Monday. Wrap it up. Let's get it done. Oh, my. If the Jets come away with Mike Williams and then sign Clowney on Tuesday after they sign Williams on Monday, I mean, good God. We have a party. <laughs> I mean, let's go. Shout out to Mark. Nobody wishes our Discord good morning every morning, quite like Mark does. A legend. Bill is up next. What's up, Bill? 
Jake, how are you? Oh, uh, Bill, I'm I'm glorious, man. How are you? I am terrific. This is as fired up and as passionate as I have been since probably 2010. I was doing cartwheels when I heard of the sign. I actually jumped off the floor at 60 years old. I must have had a vertical jump of about 18 inches, and I landed on my ankle like a basketball player that twisted his ankle. So that's going to be a little sore for a while. <laughs> but I was just – I mean, this is great, great news. This is a great time to be a Jets fan. And um, I just wonder – I wonder what Alan, I wonder what JJ is doing right now. What are they saying right now, Jake? Hey, what do you think they're saying right now? Bill, I'll give Alan credit. Alan, Alan and I have a deal that he gives Jake Asman as Maniac memberships when the Jets make a move he likes. He he gifted 10 tonight. He loves the Tyrant Smith move. So I'll get JJ, yeah, well, I want to hear from Where's JJ yeah. at? Mr. I want a splash. <laughs> well, guess what, JJ? You got your ass a splash. Let's go. That's for sure. No, he's been tremendous lately, Alan. I'm, I've been watching. I've just been been listening in, and I mean, you know, first we got we got um, um, uh, John Simpson, okay. Then Morgan Moses, and then he goes out and gets Tyron Smith. I mean, that's incredible. And the thing is, you know, in the, in the first eleven years, he he played at least thirteen games in all those in the first eleven years. It's only been the last couple of years he's been really injury prone, um, and he's had eight all pro, no, well eight Pro Bowls and two first team All Pros. So he is he's absolutely fantastic. I just uh, this is good news. This is what you call weaponizing our offense, and uh, it's going to be a good year, Jake. It's going to be a really good year. Thank you for everything you do. Hey, Bill, I and, appreciate it. And, hey, thank you, thank you so much for your. Uh, your support on uh, Patreon and the Discord and everything you do, Bill, really appreciate. It. We got the best audience, man. Truly appreciate it, folks. They, that the nights like this are why this show is special. We got eleven hundred people watching live right now. This video is going to have probably fifteen thousand views, if not more. I mean, it's insane. This fan base. All right, <laughs> and you guys have made it possible for me to move to New York next month and get out of Texas, which is crazy. <laughs> I, I think tonight's show might have covered at least the first two months' rent. So that's that's big for my moving expenses because it ain't cheap to move from Houston, Texas to New York City. I'll tell you that much. You guys are the best. So we celebrate together. K9 Cohen writes in, thanks for giving us a place to celebrate. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Tim from Fishland, our next caller. What's up, Tim? Jake, Jake, Jake. First thing I got to do is toast. Tim? Toast. Cheers, I've been told everybody to R E L A X, relax. Okay, Joe Douglas knows what he's doing. On second, though, when you look at it, you trade back, you take a tackle. Okay, in the first round, you get that second round pick, you take a receiver. Now, I'm interested to see if they do sign uh, Mike Williams because uh, Sauce posted something that was Sauce's back. And he's actually going to be at the facility talking to a wide receiver this week. Mike Williams. He's a reporter yeah, by a Carolina reporter. He's but, coming Monday. But the thing yeah. that I love about this is that it's not guaranteed. There's no guaranteed money with Tyron Smith. It's $20 million up to the incentives. Okay? It's an incentive right, lace contract. Yes, and as of right now, I figured by now maybe we'd get it. It was clearly put out there by the agent to make it look like, oh, he got twenty million for one year. My guess is he got around thirteen million in guarantees. Exactly. And, and the incentives bring it to twenty. But which, you, by the way, it, it like the value on hit whatever his cap hit is probably going to be less than fifteen million dollars, and the cap hit for Moses is five point five million. So the Jets have added two legitimately good to great offensive tackles for a less than a $20 million cap. That is phenomenal GMing by Joe Douglas. No, it is. It is without a doubt. And I, and this is what he does. All right. This is exactly what he, this is what he did with Jamal Adams. This is what, you know what I mean? Now, if we could extend, cause I, I know the works are in for DJ Reed to get an extension, you know what I mean? Rework JFM's contract. That way we, we free up some more money on the books. Cause we still need some things on defense, safety, another end, um, maybe a slot corner or a slot receiver. 
I, you know what I mean? It depends. I would love, you know, Joe JD would really, really get uh, in my good graces if he gets rid of Lazard and Zach Wilson in a trade. Hey, look, uh, look I mean, <laughs> if, he could, if he could get anything for Zach Wilson, I, I mean, build the statue, which is kind of ironic because the worst movie's made is not replacing Zach Wilson with a legitimate backup, but still. Let's go, Jeff fans. Let's go. J E T S Jets. 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 Oh, we needed a night like this. Doug writes in. Douglas on the couch. Where's Doug? Doug, get your ass on the line. We should sign Reisner as deaf. I would take I would take Dalton Reisner as a deaf signing for sure. I'm surprised he's still available. Steven at NYC. Five dollar super chat. Thank you, Steven. Latin lover Jets fan. If it starts and ends in the trenches, let's go. Celebrating tonight, baby. We got flexibility in the draft. Just beautiful. Go, JD. Cheers. Where's Fireman Ed at? To his lager. Ah, let's go. Whoa, baby. Ro Delgado with a $50 super chat. Amazing birthday present for me today. Off-season champs to the Super Bowl champs. L-F-G. Let's go. Happy birthday, Ro. Everyone in the chat right now. Wish Ro a happy birthday. Love that. Also, is JJ in witness protection? Where's JJ? All right. he's He is ducking us, folks. He wanted a splash. Maybe the splash was so big he drowned. Where's JJ? Shout out to Ro Delgado. Happy birthday, Ro. I'm glad Joe Douglas was like, I got you. Well, speaking of I got you. Hector Cabrera, boom! Money, 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 money. Ten memberships gifted. It's fifty dollars spent on the Jake Asman Show audience for ten new people to become as maniacs. Unbelievable, folks! Unreal, unreal. Shout out to everyone. We're gonna have so many new emojis. Then I'm going to add, hey, help me out. If you want to design a channel membership emoji for Asmaniacs, email me, Asmin Jake, image aspect for the emojis, one by one. We need a lane train emoji. We're always open for more caller emojis. And, look, we need we need a, uh, a Tyron Smith emoji now, too, I think, right? Also, I need an Aaron Rodgers vice president emoji. So th 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 that's on the short list of what I'm looking for. All right, the offensive line is the secret service. More calls right now. Let's go to, wow, the real Gator has called in. No bit, nothing. Gator, up next. What's up, Gator? <laughs> Holy shit, Jake, we did it, man. Again, we did it. Oh, baby. We won this. We won it. We won it all. Come on, drink with me, pal. Come on, let's get it up. We love the Jet fans. We love the Jets. We did it. Oh, my God, we, we won too many games. Uh, we're not going to get Joe Alt. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, what are we going to do? I'll tell you what we'll do. Fuck you, Alan. Fuck you and your fucking <laughs> bullshit. I ripped your fucking ear off. You can go suck a fucking... Oh, look, that's you, Alan. Look, Alan, <laughs> Alan, Joe Alt, stick it up your ass. <laughs> stick it up your ass. Come on, Jakey, let's do another shot, my brother. We did it. We did it. We did it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Mm. Oh, happy St. Patty's Day. Oh, those cheers. Who celebrate. Let's go. Those who don't, drink more. <laughs> I love Please you, Jake. Gator. You are endless, endless happiness for my life. God bless you, my friend. Ladies and gentlemen, Gator McCluskey. I love it. Alan catching strays. Honestly, say whatever you want about Alan. Alan, at least, he posts, all right? He shows up. He gifted 10 memberships tonight. All right, Alan spent 50 bucks of his hard-earned cash. Where's JJ at? 
All right, JJ now all of a sudden is conveniently in witness protection. He could call in 30 minutes into legal tampering on Monday because the Jets hadn't made any moves yet. But now they go and get the best left tackle available. They sign the best backup quarterback available, and he's nowhere to be signed, uh, nowhere to be found. They trade for Morgan Moses, who's a stud right tackle, and give up a six-round pick to do it, and we can't find him. Where is he? All right, where is he? Ridiculous. JJ ducking us. Nowhere to be found. Unbelievable. Gleddy with a super chat. He says another 50 memberships if JJ calls in and says something positive about Joe Douglas at this signing. That will make my night complete. Uh, folks, if anyone knows JJ, get him on the line. All right. Gleddy's willing to pay $250 to give out another 50 memberships, bro. Oh, my God. Ah, uh, we did it a night like this, Jet fans. Let's go. Tried to call it and take a shot with your homie. I'm one of the lone Jet fans in MO. Is that Montana? I'm stoked right now. Keep it up, Jake. Is that Matt? Are you in Montana? Call back. I'll move you to the front of the line. We have so many callers here. I'm just going in order of people that have been on hold, but I appreciate you. Jerome, the Packer fan. What's up, Jerome? What's going on, man? 14 and 3. It's not a fluke. It's not a jinx. 14 and 3. Y'all got a wall for Aaron Rodgers. Y'all got a wall for Aaron Rodgers. Um, if he have all that time back there, he going to do some damage. Right. You got to remember, he was Mahomes before Mahomes was Mahomes. Y'all have nothing to worry about in the NFC, in the AFC. So I think y'all doing something. Hey, Jerome, from your lips to God's ears, man. They do have a wall. And Woody Johnson's paying for it. Yeah, without a doubt. I love I it. I got y'all. 14 and 3. Hey, hey, from your lips to God's ears, Jerome. NYJ Madden up next. What's up, NYJ? Yo, what's up, Jake? Man, I finished all my Henny last night. That's all I got water, man. What's hey, up? you know what? I, I should probably mix in a water or sip, too, so I got you. Yeah, man, got to stay healthy. But, man, um, I ain't got much to say. Great signing, man. Um, I said the last one. I'm not really into the offseason, man. I just like the uh, – just support who we, whoever we um sign, man. But it's a great signing, man. Still, we just gotta stay healthy, man. I, like I understand us Jets fans, we we get in the hype, we sign up everything that we need, every position that we need to be uh, just make it to the playoffs in the Super Bowl. But we just have to remain humble because one injury, a couple injuries can just it all falls down. We all been through it before. That's all I got for you, Jake. Keep it going. Let's go. Hey, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Jay Taylor writes in. Sources tell me we back up. Yeah, I need. I need. I need, Someone needs to email me a PDF of the meme from the wire. I want you to put the word back out there. We up. We back up. Let's go. Matt earlier wrote that he tried to call in to take a shot. Well, I'm assuming the Matthew on hold right now is the Matthew who super chatted. So we bring him on. Because we're ready to take shots. What's up, Matthew? Uh, no, totally different person. Sorry. <laughs> Come on, really? I have a beer. Hey, that's hey, you know what? Good enough for me. Cheers. <laughs> yeah. So I just want I just wanted to say, you know, I've been a fan of your show. I didn't know a lot about sports. I've been watching you a lot recently, and you helped me just like catch me right back up. Like you know, used to be nervous talking to people. But I'm not anymore. I know. I know shit. Hey, I love it, man. Hey, Matthew, wrong Matt, Matt too, whatever. Great sweatshirt, great beer. Cheers. I, I think we've located <laughs> – this show's amazing. I think we have located the right Matt that wanted to take a shot with me. Let's go to this Matt, Matt Matto. I think we got the right guy. What's up, Matt? Yo, what's up, Jake? Okay, so M.O. is Missouri, not Montana. Yeah, yeah, Missouri, All sadly. Right. I'm right in the middle of Chief Nation, man. It's rough. So. Hey. Hey, Tyron Smith, a lot of people thought he'd be a Chief, so I love it. Dude, I'm stoked. There's a lot of Chiefs fans out here that feel sorry for us and actually root for us, so <laughs> I feel kind of all right. But yeah, <laughs> here's to the shot real quick if you want to do one. Let's yep. I want to do one. Cheers. I'll do it, sir. Now, I've been watching you for a few years. I appreciate you. It's nice having someone that speaks Jets talk in the middle of nowhere out here, so keep it up, man. Fucking hey. killing it. Appreciate you, Matt. Uh, are you from New York originally? How are you a Jet fan in Missouri? 
Yeah, I'm from Jersey. I grew up in Bayonne in Jersey City, and my mom moved out here when I was younger and came with her. So awesome, man. Well, I appreciate you tuning in, and thanks for thanks for thanks for the shot, man. I'm glad we I'm glad we got the right mat on the line. <laughs> Absolutely, man. It's good to meet you. Hope you guys take care. You too, man. Thank you so much. Appreciate everyone, man. Hit the like button. How many concurrents we have right now? Eleven hundred watching right now. Unreal. J E T S Jets Jets Jets. Got the chain on tonight. This chain hasn't been worn since Mr. Bonesy in Vegas. Where's Bonesy at? Call in, Bones. Dan, the Jet fan, up next. What's up, Dan? How's it going, Jake? Hey, uh, just a serious inquiry for for you. At the stroke of midnight tonight, in honor of 316 day, can you take two cans of Fireman Ed Vlaga, clang them together, and drink them like Stone Cold? <laughs> It'd be one of the most iconic moments in the history of the show. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, man, I love the Tyrone Smith signing. Uh, Joe Douglas, you know, he's really been delivering for us the past uh, couple, a uh, few days for us. I'm like, I, I love it. <laughs> anyway. I am, I'm giddy, uh, Dan. I mean, I, I'm, I'm happier than you. Than I, I'm happier now than I, you probably were when you got your degree from, uh, you, you, when you got your associate's degree. I know it was a big day for you. It's a big day for all us Jet fans. Was and what's sad is that since I graduated last semester, I had to wait until the the until May until I had my actual graduation party, <laughs> and the, which is when the commencement is. So I had to take the whole spring semester off, which is <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, it's uh, it's been a fun off season so far. I, I can't believe it's been a whole year since uh, Aaron Rodgers uh, announced his intention to play for us. I mean, who would have thought? Well, Let's I, go, Dan. Let's go. Great call. Dan, you know what I love about Dan? He's always dressed in the in the right color jet green. I love it. I love it. Flight capsule. Jake, is it too soon to talk Super Bowl? Next week, Clowney and Mike Williams. Feels like it's just getting started. So hyped. But if the Jets come away with Jadavian Clowney and Mike Williams next week, oh, my God. All right, I'm going to need to see a doctor because a certain something's going to be lasting for, like, 77 hours straight. Good God. Mike Williams would be a home run signing, exactly what they need. And I'll take Clowney on a one-year deal, which is what it would be. Big Game James up next. What's up, James? Finally, the Big Game has come back to the Jake Asman Show. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Everyone talks about, oh, how the Jets are clowns. The Jets are the same old Jets franchise. Well, JD315 says he just whipped your asses all over the free agency. We got <laughs> Tyron Smith, we got Lyman. We are something to be reckoned with. So I don't want to hear people, hoo, hoo, hoo. well, the Jets are just the Jets. The Jets are going to Jets. It doesn't matter what the Jets are going to do. The, part set, the table has set. The clouds is open. You don't know what you're going to do. What you're going to do when the Jets run on you because it doesn't matter because we're coming for that ass, baby. The Jets said we're going to whip your ass. And as a response to Austin 316, I'm going to take some drinks we're going down to Philadelphia with my friends and live it up. And that's the bottom line because the big game said so. And if you smell <laughs> what the big game is cooking, the Jets cooking, because there are thousands and thousands of Jake fans. There are millions and millions of the Jets fans all waiting to hear the Jets chant. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Jake, I love uh, you, buddy. Appreciate you. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you. Be safe and don't get too red-eyed. I see you got red-eyed there. And for you, you need a water break. Drink water with me, big dog. Just drink one quick water. All right, I'll have a sip of water. Just kidding. Psyched. Anything is possible. <laughs> drink water. Are you nuts? Hold on. Shout out to one of my listeners who just sent me the uh, the meme I was looking for. So I got to get that loaded. We're expected to have both Nick Faria and Will Parkinson on the show if they're not lying to me, who I'm texting with right now. Uh, let's go, folks. Let's go. Was that a Jet Snuggie, by the way, James? That was tremendous. Flight Capsule. I already read that one. Bonesy says, I'm here listening, though. I'm here, baby. Are you delayed, Bonesy? I shouted you like 10 minutes ago. I feel like you're behind us. Call in. We need late night bones. Oh, breaking news, folks. I think we had the, the details on the contract for Tyron Smith. Initial indications of the Tyron Smith deal is $6.5 million guaranteed with another $13.5 million to be earned based on playing time and other incentives. Bro, Joe Douglas is a god for that. 
Are you shitting me? They got a top five left tackle for six point five million guaranteed. If he hits all the incentives, you'd pay him fifty million because that means he's playing. Six point five million base for Tyron Smith. That is a phenomenal deal. Mike Florio is reporting that. He's usually pretty good. Great work by Joe Douglas. Great work by Joe Douglas. Wow. Oh, my God. I used to pray for times like these. Holy crap. $6.5 million. Oh. Let's go. Get me another receiver and let's get let's get to the draft. Oh my god. 6.5 million in guarantees. Are you kidding me? Shout out to Orb by the way. He's the listener that sent me the meme. I'm going to get that loaded here. But we're a one man band. It ain't easy doing the show, especially buzzed up on a Friday night. I love it. Let's go. Johnny's up next. What's up, Johnny? What's up, Jake? Hey man, I just screamed on the top of my lungs. JD and Tyron Smith after making sweet, passionate love to the wifey. <laughs> J-E-T-S. Jess, Jess, Jess. Let's go, bro. Hey, let's go, Johnny. It needed to be done. It got done. Tyron Smith is a New York Jet. Hey, I want you all to put the word out there that we back up. All right? I want you to put the word out there that we back up. Let's go. Hector says, if Brees stays healthy with his line, he's got a monster year, 2.5K. Uh, Brees Hall legitimately can win Offensive Player of the Year if the Jets' offensive line is healthy. That's how special he is. You know who also can win Offensive Player of the Year? Garrett Wilson. They got two premier weapons. Now they need to continue to add to it. They have the O-line. They still are probably going to add another move or two there, and they should. But from left to right, I mean, to have Tyron Smith and Morgan Moses as your bookend tackles, AVT is an all-pro guard. He's staying at guard now. Ah, oh, I swear to you, I used to pray for times like this. Frankie writes in, well, JD in offseason, but want him gone if injuries hit. <laughs> Hey, it took two hours, but we finally got someone negative. I love it. Joe Douglas made this move because he understands he won't be here if they don't win. And by the way, $6.5 million in guarantees for top five tackle play? Are you shitting me? That's unreal. Smith didn't have a big market, clearly. $6.5 million guaranteed. $13.5 million in incentives. Tyron Smith was 80.9 in gap blocking, according to Pro Football Focus. Third best among 79 qualified offensive tackles. The Jets are now a power running team. Simpson and Moses graded out well in gap blocking. They're changing their running scheme. Hey, we heard Robert Sala was going to get more involved on offense. Maybe this was his doing. Going from a zone scheme to a, uh, you know, like a power scheme. Gap blocking. I, I love it, man. Let's go. Let's go. Matthew says, $6.5 million, so much extra room for activities. Thanks for taking my call. Even though I was the wrong Matt, you and your chat are great. Hey, wrong Matt, call back in any time. You had a great call. Jack A says, you have a sleep. Thanks for everything. I took a V-man-like nap before this stream tonight. Full disclosure, I had tickets to go to the Houston Rodeo. I was going to see the great Jonas Brothers, and then the Tyron Smith deal happened. I said, well, there goes that. Here we go. So we did a three-hour stream earlier, two hours right now. We are grinding this week, folks. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. We got 1,100 of you watching right now. If you don't like this video, you're not a Jet fan. Pittsburgh Mike up next. What's up, Mike? Jake, what's up, man? You tell me, man. Good things come to those who wait. I want every Jets fan to remember what it felt like on September 11th, 2023, when Rodgers went down four plays in. We are never going to be that sad again. 
We are going to win the Super Bowl this year, guys, and it's going to be glorious. We have a wall. We got Jon Snow behind that wall. <laughs> Coming, guys. We got this. I love it. I love it, man. We got the Secret Service up front to protect the Vice President, Pittsburgh Mike. Uh, let's go. Let's go. J.D. cooking with gas. James writes in, Jake, yes, I was wearing a Jets hoodie slash Snuggie gifted by me for Christmas. Jet the F up, bro. Appreciate you. Hey, James, I love it, man. That Snuggie looking good. Uh, I was waiting to hear from this guy. Ladies and gentlemen, Ricky NY. What's up, Ricky? Hey, what's happening, Jake? Uh, just woke up and saw the good news, and I am very happy. Uh, we got we got our guy uh, to anchor our line. We got Tyron Smith. St. Pancakes Day. We got Smith. <laughs> so it's 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 looking good from here, man. I'm I'm really 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 happy. I really wanted this to happen, and and man, uh, now we can do whatever the hell we want in the draft, and. Uh, for all you JD doubters, take that because we are back. J E T S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Let's fucking go. Hey, there we go. Light it up, Ricky. Yeah. My man, Ricky, you're one of the greats. Great call. Ricky, a true legend, folks. Let's go. JR24 up next. What's up, JR? Hey, Jake, what's going on? What's up, man? Uh, the first time caller, so, you know, very excited to be here. Big time Jeff fan, big fan of your channel. Obviously, great news with today with Tyron Smith. I mean, goodness, how we go from having a bottom five O-line to like a top five on paper. So, nah, very exciting. I'm from D.C., so I'm the only Jets fan I've always been around. So, uh, it's great to be on the channel. But I did have a quick little question, only because, you know, I am thinking just – um what do you think we should do as far as maybe adding another running back just to, you know, help Brees out, you know, the rest of this offseason? Yeah, I definitely I definitely could see it. Uh, I don't think they're going to, like, move on that very quickly. I think it could play out. Like, remember last year how there were, like, so many notable veterans that were just, like, still around post-draft? I, I could see that. Um, I also could see them maybe drafting someone. They've done it every year. Douglas has been to GM. He's always taken a running back at some point. So, I, I do think they'll add to the running back room. I just don't know necessarily when it's going to be. Perfect. Yeah, no, I'm fired up, man. So this is one of the better days I remember. So um, no, I'm excited. I appreciate you for the phone call as well. Hey, JR, call back in any time, man. Excellent call. Excellent call. All right, I'm going to bring in a, a, a favorite of ours on the show again. I'll tell you why. Earlier, his wife was trying to steal his spotlight. So we'll give Neil another crack at it because we, Neil demanded Tyrone Smith. And guess what happened? Joe Douglas said, Neil, I got you. Neil, you're back up. Tyrone, listen, <laughs> I'm on my fifth cigar, and I have a little, my favorite to toast with is the little Johnny Walker Blue Label. I'm sorry, a little, little uh, bougie, but I'm having a little Blue Label. I'll hammer it down with you because we have to toast. Are you, Let's Neil? Are you ready for week one? This, this, this oh, We're firing man. up the sprinter. We're running it back. Jets, Bills. Here we go. Monday night football. Baby. <laughs> we're firing up the sprinter, and then when we get deep into the playoffs, we'll be firing up the private jet. Little hey, play. let's go. I'll see you in New Orleans. Uh, and let me tell you something. I sent you. I want, I want to know if you can get. I just sent you a bunch of texts. There's a picture that I had at one of the games all painted up. I wanted you to try to get that that picture of me uh, with my paint, my painted face, my game day face that you didn't see that game day face. You'll see it this year. Check your email, your text. Look at that picture of me. I got it. I got Look it. Hold on. I got like a, I got like I got like 700 on open messages. All my friends are just blowing up my phone with see the uh... get that on the screen, baby. Uh, that is me. My game face on. I am so pumped up right now. I can't tell you. It's going to be sick. We are going to take over the East, West, North, and South. We are going, baby. <laughs> we are going. It is going to be epic. I'm telling you, it's going to be epic. I've been saying it all along. This is our year, and salute, and we're going to do it. And 
you know, hats off to everybody in the in the chat. I'm very excited again. I'm not. I wasn't not excited. I had a bad day, you know, earlier. You know, when I started <laughs> ranting off. So I want to apologize for my temporary lapse in positivity. But I'm back. And it's going to happen, baby. So let's go. Hey, let's go. Salute, Neil. I love it. I love it. Let's hit it, baby. Let's go. 13 points made. I know. You want me to shut up and jump out this window? <sighs> let's go. Oh, man. Right. Can we can we, can we? we fast forward to week one and the Neil Sprinter L5, the tailgate? Oh, let's go, baby. Hey, shout out to listener Matty D. He just signed up for my Patreon. Matty, I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for signing up. Shout out to everyone on Patreon. Dimitri, you signed up earlier. We got, I, I mean, th this night has been a legendary night in this show's history. 138 new channel members, new Asmaniacs. Over $600 in Super Chats and counting. And several new Patreon subscribers. Jet fans, you guys are the absolute greatest. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. Let's go to another great Jet fan. Jorge, up next on our program tonight. What's up, Jorge? What's up, Jake? What's uh, up, man? Jake, it's just crazy, all these people that were bitching and crying this whole week, and now it's just, it's just done in a matter of a couple, in a couple of days. And uh, this just shows, like, all the people on uh, with, like, ESPN analysis or, like, those uh, NFL networks saying that uh, the Jet won't be able to fix the O-line. They were talking all that shit all the offseason that we're going to have another bad season because we can't fix this, we can't fix that. And now, look, look at them. They're just all quiet now. I love that's it. All I got well, to say. Hey, you know, that that's why it's like I, I couldn't scream and yell the first couple days. You know, yeah. I tried to be rational. You know, it's like yeah, yeah. The, the idea they were going to do nothing, never, I, I never bought into that. Like they, we they, always do they, something. They cut, they cut Lake and Tomlinson early on, which was a clear indication they were going to spend big on the O-line. They made a Morgan Moses trade no one had coming, and now they got the best available left tackle on the market. Like, Joe Douglas, say whatever you want about him. He deserves to be criticized. He has not been perfect. We understand that. He, you can't knock what he's done this offseason. It's been phenomenal as far as rebuilding yeah. this whole line. Yeah, there's a lot of Cowboy fans. I, I live out here in Cali, and there's a lot of Cowboy fans, and I'm I'm showing them the screenshot, sending them the, the Instagram post, and it's funny seeing their reaction. <laughs> right, because they know how good he is, the Hall of Famer. Yeah. He's going to be in the new threads, though, so I'm excited. That's right. Let's get that. Uh, Tyron Smith might be one of my first jersey purchases when the new legacy uniforms are permanent. I love it. Matt became a new channel member. We took a shot together, and he's an Asmaniac now. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Chef Kevin, Super Chat. Jake, the offseason is once again ours. We own it. Nobody owns it like us. Tomorrow morning, I have to be at work at 5 a.m. for St. Patrick's weekend. I can't go to sleep because we won the offseason again. Hey, I pulled an all-nighter last night, so I feel you. All right? I feel you, man. I was on ESPN till 1 a.m., and then I had a 6 a.m. flight at LaGuardia, so I, I feel you. you know, it's a lot easier to, to get up out of bed when you have purpose, like a wall. I love it. I love it. You know, if we're letting people call back in, Let's bring Phenom back on. He's got more to say. What's up, Phenom? Yo, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm digging you tonight, bro. Let me tell you. Um, this is a good night for Jeff fans. It really is. Come on. Let's give it up. So, uh, but uh, they built to get to a situation. We don't expect a big splash. We just want to keep on moving gradually along. I mean, uh, guys are fighting for their jobs. Let's not... Make that. I mean, these guys are fighting for their careers, not like jobs. So, uh, it's really good to see that they did something, man. I'm not bullshitting around. Uh, even with all the noise with Aaron Rodgers, I mean, you know, your political thoughts are your own, but you know, we're here to win football games. I'm, uh, you know, uh, Aaron Rodgers is a great leader. I, 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 I can get with that. Look. We need to move the ball forward. We need to build this team. And this team is moving on both sides of because the defense is silly, solid. The offense is what we worry about. Our focus is on the offense working this preseason and regular season. So that was our whole thought. If we, I mean, and then we signed Zerline. I mean, he's a great kicker. I mean, special teams can't be, uh, you know, forgotten. So they're just doing their thing. Look. 
we have more phases to this, guys. Let's right. be patient and just wait. Because now they're just in a good position. They have some good positions to move. We see up. Let's go, man. I'm looking forward to the draft. I want to see what they're going to do in the draft. Absolutely. Let, hey, let's go, Phenom. Let's you go. You got a drink? You got a drink, Phenom? Uh, well, you, I, I'm drinking Stella tonight. So, trust to you boys. You know, here it is. There it hey, is. I, I got a beer for you. I got you a little fireman at Lager. Let's go. Shout out here to Here we go. Here we go, Jack. Here we go. You know how we do it, baby. So, JGS, uh, uh, Jets, we, we're moving forward. We're moving to the draft. We're moving after the draft. We're moving. Look, this team is a couple phases away from being a championship team. I believe that. Do you guys? I believe, Phenom. I believe. Let's go. I believe I can fly tonight. That's also because I've had a bottle and a half of Hennessy, it feels like. Project Prospect Tom writes in. Dom, call in. I, I got to get Dom's take on this. 6.5 base salary with 13.5 in incentives based on playing time. JD is cooking an A-plus deal. DJ Reed extension coming. JD a done. Hey, I'm going to say it. All right? I'm going to say it. I want you to put the word out there, Jet fans. We back up. We back up. Let's go. Let's go. I'm pumped. If you're not excited, man, I mean, why be a fan, right? This is You live for nights like this as a sports fan. You do. I mean, this is it. I love it. Flight Capsule writes in, Jake, we all hype. We need Method Man on right now. Hey, Method Man, where you at? Where you at? Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bonesy has announced that he will call in quick before wifey time. So before Mr. Bonesy goes full boy green with his woman, we bring him on right now. Hello, Mr. Bonesy. Jake, my brother. Jake, my brother. Hey, I'm wearing, I'm wearing the uh, the chain, baby. Last time this was worn, it was you. Yo, I wore that chain around. That was your aunt, right, who gave it to us? Yeah, my uh, my, my the great Aunt Jill. Jill Wagner, one of the all-time greats. She was out in Vegas with us. She purchased this chain, and she, 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 I mean, she made it happen. And I said, you know what? I need someone in my entourage to be wearing this chain at all times. And that was you. <laughs> I don't think I took it off. I think I wore it. To the... I think I wore it to sleep that night. <laughs> oh, man. You know, it feels good to watch my man work. Uh, you know, for all the the negativity we had to go through since the beginning of, of free agency, it's just, it, it wasn't fair. You know, it's just, it feels so good to, you know, just at least just get past it a little bit. We obviously, he still ain't done. He's still not done. Oh, we got Mike, Mike Williams on Monday. We got Jadavian Clowney on Tuesday. Let's go. Uh, you know, he, he uh, Joe Douglas has that third leg working for him. It's just, he's <laughs> at work all the time. He never sleeps. You guys think he's sleeping. He's not so oh, he's not he's not V Man, all right? Like we love you, V Man, but like V Man couldn't operate the Jets. We'd be worried about this. Uh, Joe Joe Douglas is alive, Bonesy. I just I just yo, I called JJ twice. He's ignoring my calls. He just keeps hitting he's he's not letting it ring. You know, it's just going right to voicemail. <laughs> it, it's very disappointing. JT better have a good reason why he's not on tonight. That's all I'm going to say. You know you know what, though? The best part about what Joe Douglas did is nights like this. <laughs> this is how crazy our fan base is. Just from making a good move, we are so hyped. We all, <laughs> we're all chilling in here for hours. I'm out to eat with my wife. I'm, I'm not even listening to her. I'm <laughs> typing, ty typing. She's talking to me. I'm trying to do two things at once. I'm like, listen, do you understand what just happened, woman? This is, <laughs> this is serious shit. I don't give a shit about nothing. <laughs> but, man, you know, I told everybody you got to just be patient. My man's going to come through. He was at work. 
We have Aaron Rodgers, so you know he was gonna do. You knew he was gonna, you know, you knew he was gonna grind, and he's not done. He's not done yet. The flexibility at ten is amazing, because now it just puts us in the situation not to be best player available, but you know, it it just makes it like. You can't – I still think we're going tackle there. I still think we're going to – because Tyron's only a one-year deal. So, you know, it's so perfect, man. You give him a one-year deal, it's like – it's not. he's not coming just to, like, get paid and, like, give up. It's like a prove-it deal still. He's still got to, you know, incentives up to $20 million, But, man, does it feel good. I am going to sleep like a baby tonight. I'm calling in tomorrow from work. I don't get – Well, hold on a second. I, I it doesn't sound like you'll you'll be sleeping right away though. It's, it sounds like there's business there, Ted. Now, you know, in in the words of uh, Paulie yeah. Boy Green Jr., <laughs> there's multiple things happening tonight, and the best <laughs> thing isn't making sweet nothings to my wife. It was Joe Douglas getting that left tackle. <laughs> hey, uh, Bozy, before you go, quick message for Aaron Rodgers. Actually, just texted me this. He wanted me to share this with you. Hey, hey congrats! Congrats on the sex. I, I wish you well. <laughs> uh, love everybody. Let's go. J E T S. Joe Douglas. <laughs> Cheers, Bonesy. I love it. Anything is possible, folks. God. I, love, I swear, the last time this chain was worn, it was on Bonesy's neck. I said, I need a guy in my entourage wearing the jet chain at all times. And that was Bonesy for two days at Circa and on the strip. Walk into the game. Too good. Too good. I have a special guest set to join us here, but I won't lie. I've been live for two hours and 16 minutes, and I've been drinking nonstop Hennessy and beer. So I'm going to play something that's going to give me just enough time to use the restroom, come back, and I have a, I have a special guest uh, that is going to join us here. All right? So I am – I mean, I'm giddy right now. All right? I have a special guest, surprise guest. He's coming on the show. And we'll chop it up with him. I think he just got back from the bar as well. So who knows what's coming. All right. So give me uh, give me a couple minutes here, Jet fans. Play a quick clip. We come back. We take more of your calls. We talk more about this incredible signing uh, by Joe Douglas. Once again, just tuning in, $6.5 million base salary for Ty- uh, Ty- Tyrone Smith, as they would say, Tyron Smith, and up to $13.5 million in incentives. Just an unbelievable deal by Joe Douglas. Quick break. We're back with a guest, more of your Super Chats, channel memberships, and a whole heck of a lot more. Do you guys remember there was an incident in Las Vegas where a man attacked a Clark County judge? After this happened, I said, the guy in the video is actually a listener of the show. So not the guy who basically like Troy Palomalo over like the judge dais. But the guy that is a listener of the show is the hero who tried to immediately apprehend this wacko. And yesterday, Michael Lasso, the law clerk who helped protect the Clark County judge who was attacked in court last month, was named Citizen of the Month in Vegas. You could see our guy Michael Lasso on the left there. It's a pretty cool moment for Michael, who joins us right now. What's up, Michael? <laughs> How you doing, Jake? Good to see you. <laughs> Man, what's it what's it like being a hero? Oh my god, you know what I mean? It's it's so honestly it's just so surreal and so uh so humbling truly. I never expected it to be, you know, on SNL and TikTok and Twitter. And- While I fly this way, right? Mm-hmm. The bear love he run behind me. He fall down. Look at the man. That's terrible. Man. <laughs> it's really just uh just incredible to be honest. And, and that leap that that man did was pretty impressive and I think that's part <laughs> of the reason why that video has gone so crazy. Uh, I mean, the guy, like, he timed the snap perfectly, right? Like, he did the full <laughs> Troy Palomalo over the – I mean, <laughs> what goes through your mind in real time as that's happening? Like, do you even have time to think? Was it all just natural reaction? Kind of take us through what's happening there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, honestly, there's no time to think for sure. I mean, it, the video doesn't even do it justice just at how fast that uh, actually occurred. You know, I mean, one minute he's sitting there just talking about how, you know, he'll, he'll accept whatever the judge is willing to give him, and then the next minute he's on top of the judge. So when he initially made a run, I thought, okay, he's going for the door. 
last thing I thought he was going for the judge. And I definitely didn't think he was ever going to make contact. It was so nice to the mayor. It was so nice to the city. It was such an incredible experience. And I mean, when the mayor first called me, I answered the phone and I, I'm thinking to myself, who is this? The mayor? Do you, do you have the right number? <laughs> <laughs> the video honestly doesn't even do it justice as to just how fast it really was. I mean, it, it went from just any normal day to just, you know, honestly, just, just straight, you know, havoc. I mean, it was uh, in a blink of an eye and there really wasn't much time to think. You just kind of react. I mean, I remember when it happened and like the, the the video was everywhere and then you told me that was you and i was like what no way and, and i just like i couldn't believe it man like, i know I you know i wish i could have came on your show earlier but obviously the sentencing was still going on there were things in motion so i just couldn't but uh, i really appreciate you giving me a chance and coming on here it's not every day that you know a listener of the show is like a legitimate hero i mean that's that's pretty cool i mean what ended up happening was he sentenced Where, where's the guy who you know, attack yeah, you. so so basically, yeah, he, he was uh he was given the sentence he was going to get uh, originally. He's got new charges that he's facing, and that's going on in, in a different courtroom with a different judge. And uh, you know, we'll kind of see where that goes. Can you believe that when they brought me back to court, they put a muzzle on me, man? Yeah, probably for everybody's safety. Man, I ain't bite nobody. That's hey, unbelievable, man. man. I love it. A Jet fan is a hero out in Las Vegas. And those clips of uh, Judge Allen, oh my God, uh, those <laughs> had me dead. Oh my God, those are the best things I've ever seen. Uh, I don't know, I just Gator made those. those are incredible. Uh, yeah, I, I believe you've been this right here. I'd rather be the Jake Hasman heel than the Robert Sala truther any day of the week. But it's weird because I don't see myself as a heel. I think I'm a realist. I don't want to hear none of that shit you do. We don't want no damn no weekly to win shit. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, it's too good. It's too good. Oh, <laughs> my God. Oh, thank you again, Jake. Michael, uh, you're the man. Appreciate you joining the show, brother. We have the best audience. We, we, I've always said it. That's as good as it gets right there. We do have the best audience. Cheers to all the Jet fans. This one's for you guys. You guys are the best. All right, before we bring on our special guest, I've obtained live footage of Joe Douglas apparently celebrating the Tyron Smith sign. <laughs> uh, let's go, Joe. They said you were finished. They said Joe over. Lies. Ladies and gentlemen, joining us right now is a man who hosts one of the most successful Jets podcasts in the known universe. He is a good friend of the show. He is a former collegiate football player. Will Parkinson joins us right now. Hello, Will. Tyron Smith, baby. Never a doubt. Never. Never fucking doubt, Jake. Never. How we feeling, man? I mean, you, you, you were all over it. You knew they were in on him the last couple of days. You and I were talking about that. And then to actually see them get this done and now find out the reported details of the contract. I mean, this is an unbelievable signing by the front office. Yeah, look, I think it was something that I like, I felt pretty good about. But at the end of the day, it was like, get this done. Open up number 10 overall, obviously, for the Jets, whether it be tackle, whether it be tight end, whether it be – you know, pass catcher, obviously a receiver. I felt like it was just for something that, like, if you could get Tyron Smith, now your O line's literally a little bit solidified. And then, honestly, at the end of the day, you know, keep Aaron Rodgers upright, be able to, you know, you add a Hall of Fame level left tackle. Obviously, again, he's not the the tackle he was maybe three, four years ago, but again, second team All Pro a year ago. And at the end of the day, obviously, um, you know. Look, this is a great move. Uh, six and a half million bucks, obviously, on a base salary. And then, you know, upside, obviously, up to 20 million. But, you know, I, I just think that Tyron Smith's market maybe not was not as much as I think people realized it was going to be. And then on top of that, obviously, look, <laughs> if you're the Jets, um, not the – probably not the biggest budget Woody's ever had uh, in terms of a offseason. You've added three quality offensive linemen – from a Tyron Smith, who's obviously an all-pro level player, Morgan Moses, who's a top 13-ish right tackle, John Simpson, who's a guy that I, I know Joe Caprosa is obviously, uh, you know, coined as, uh, you know, a, a you know, Wario Bowser or whatever that, I don't know, whatever he called him on uh, on Badland. <laughs> guy that's going to, you know, run people over in the run game. And this is a totally different group already. Um Obviously, it's pending health, but this should be a really, really, really good group, you know, on the offensive line. And now it's 
now all focused on the receiver position, whether it's Mike Williams coming in on Monday, whether it's, you know, a Roma Dunze, whether it's a Brian Thomas Jr., whether it's a Brock Bowers at 10 overall. Now you're starting to feel like, look, this hasn't been an offseason where you're excited 24 hours a day for three hours or for three straight days, right? Like it's not, if we're being honest, but they've given up what a, they've gone down one pick, you know, one of the two picks in the fourth round, they've obviously dropped down in, they've spent a little bit of money, not a ton, but you actually feel pretty good about where they're at. Defensive line wise, I will say there it's a little bit of a mess and if they signed Judevian Clowney. Now we're starting to really talk here, but offensively, like, Outside of receiver, you kind of feel pretty decent. You had a 10th overall pick, a Zeke Elliott, and then a Mark, you know, MVS. I know no one's going to be excited about MVS, but I'm just saying, like, realistically, Garrett Wilson, 10th overall pick, MVS, Lazard, or, and or Corey Davis, Brownlee Gibson, like, okay, decent. Pretty, pretty good, to be honest. It should be pretty solid. Conk and Rucker, pretty good. Brees and Zeke is, like, and, and Izzy, pretty damn good. Rodgers should be pretty damn good. Offensive line should be pretty damn good. Now we're now we're kind of talking here a little bit. Now the expectation should be, outside perspective, they won't be that high. But as a Jets fan, I feel like you should actually be feeling pretty decent about where they're at right now, considering they filled three starters in the last four days. Like, let's be realistic here. Nobody that they're adding now at this point in the year even through the draft, I'm not even sure as a starter day one, right? So if you even, I mean, maybe they are, but realistically, none of the people they're adding outside of pass catchers, a starter day one. So like outside of losing Bryce Huff, pretty solid first three to four days here, fully encapsulated. I talked about this, uh, I believe yesterday, I was just talking about how like, it's not great yet, but they signed a Tyron Smith. They add an MVS and then add a pass catcher. You know, at 10, you actually feel pretty damn good about the offseason. That's what kind of we hope for is solve the offensive line, solve receiver, you know, and, and then kind of go from there. Well, think about it. They have added the best available offensive tackle, the best available backup quarterback. They added two other quality starters to their O-line. At 10, they could stay there and take a weapon. They could trade up. Oh, you got a TOJ uh, glass there? Oh, right. yeah. Cheers. Let's go. Let's go. Like, they they, they have options, man. And, like, I, I think they still can just stay and just take a tackle at 10. And, honestly, how about this? Troy Fontano maybe makes more sense than anyone because you can play guard and tackle. So, if ABT gets hurt, you're covered. If Smith gets hurt, you're covered. And you know Smith's not playing 17 games. What about, Bakhti- what about Bakhtiari still? Yeah, one-year deal and let him one come year in deal and compete. Worst case, he hangs out with Rodgers for 17 games. He's Randall Cobb. Yeah, that's perfect. Best, best case, he plays three or four games. I, like- I love it. I love it because he's not getting a big – like, if Tyron Smith can only get 6.5 million – so that's actually a great jumping off point here. Now that we know Smith's contract is only $6.5 million guaranteed, why wouldn't you sign Bakhtiari for a one-year deal for two one or year, three million? One year, two and a half, three million bucks, upside up to 10 if he plays X amount of games. Done. It's a no-brainer. Wow. They're going to end up with Bakhtiari now, too, based on this contract for Smith. That's yeah, a great I would point. say Bakhtiari is one of those. Again, it could be totally wrong, but Bakhtiari feels like a post-draft, depends on what they do in the draft type of thing. If they draft a tackle at 10, like, you can't really add Bakhtiari. It kind of feels, I mean, how many roster spots are you going to, you know, give up for offensive line? Agreed. It, it, would, be, it would be done after the draft if they but, were to sign Bakhtiari. But if they go pass catcher, you say, mm-hmm. hey, listen, you're going to come in. You're not going to start day one, but we know Tyron Smith, you know, and or Morgan, Morgan Moses could get hurt at any point. We need you. We want you to be basically Aaron Rodgers' best friend, which you are. Can you play three to six games a year? Can you do that? Yes. No. We'll give you upside in your contract. We get the playoffs. We win a title, whatever it may be. X amount of millions of dollars. Cool. Boom. That's what he, basically what he's been doing for the last couple of years. I don't know. 17 games of Tyron Smith and David Bakhtiari is an all pro level tackle. So probably would take that again. If they don't do it, it's fine. But it kind of feels like Bakhtiari is the Randall Cobb of this year where it's like, 
we don't really need you to play and we don't hope you don't really have to play but if you do like we're okay with it um to me i don't know i they've just made a lot of ads so far they've done everything again 100 percent have not done everything but they've addressed the line pretty damn hard um they've addressed backup quarterback they need to address safety they need to address receiver 100 percent but I don't know. Defensive tackle. Don't love. Hundred percent love what they've done, but they've up. They've they've addressed it. Um, they've addressed like two of the biggest needs in the trenches they've had: edge, safety, and receiver. The last three things remaining asset, and that and running back. I guess those four things I think can be addressed through the last next couple of waves of free agency, and also, um, you know, what they do obviously during the draft, but. I just think the Tyron Smith signing frees them up to do whatever they want at 10. Trade up, trade down, stay put. Like They're in a good spot now where they're not drafting necessarily for need. They can draft for best player available, which is likely either a tackle, you know, a – Or a receiver. Or a Bowers. Receiver, or a Bowers, whoever it may be. Like, How do you feel about good. Bowers? Because ba- the Bowers debate now is real with what they've done in free agency. Look, I mean, I, lo- I love Jeremy Rucker, right? Like, no question about it. Great player. But, I don't know. Comp and Bowers is like a pretty damn good duo that, you know, you'd be pretty excited about. Um, if that happens, great. If it doesn't happen, that's okay as well. But, listen, I, I they could do a lot worse than Brock Bowers at 10. They could do a lot worse. He's one of the, like, he's one of those guys where, Obviously, receiver, O line, edge, quarterback, even corner, probably more valuable than tight end. But Bowers is kind of a receiver, kind of a fullback, kind of a tight end. You can make an argument he's one of those threes. He was Georgia's best offensive player the last couple of years, best team on the planet in, in college football the last couple of years. So I, I would feel if they've drafted Bowers, you feel good about it. You convince yourself, hey, listen, 19 year old Brock Bowers was the best player in the Georgia offense. That was one of the three or four best college football teams ever, like arguably at least. And he was their best offensive player, bar none. Screens, flare routes, seam routes, blocking, running the balls, jet sweeps. Like this dude's awesome. So um, I'd feel good about it. I'd rather them take a pass catcher in terms of a true wide receiver opposite Garrett Wilson. Like 100%, I would. But if they took Brock Bowers and they added the Mike Williams, like, are you upset about it? Probably not. Uh, I, feel I, pretty good. Book, I feel pretty damn good. Book your flight to New Orleans, baby. We, me, me and Jake will be in New Orleans uh, hammered, <laughs> hanging out with Mike McDaniels again, just like the combine. <laughs> <laughs> Famous Jay with a super chat. Relax. Take a puff for the Tyrant Smith signing. Take a puff for – this guy, Famous Jay, has been super chatting me. Uh, about you know, every, wanting the jet fan base to calm down and basically get high. Take a puff. You know what? Are you providing the weed, buddy? What are we doing here? I'll I'll take a swing of Henny, man. You know what they say, Will? <laughs> Henny thing is possible. Cheers. <laughs> Let's go. Uno Jet says, JD doing his thing. Left tackle, Tyron Smith. Let's go. I, I, just, I think like what's interesting with the Tyron Smith signing is like. I fully said, I've said this, I mean, I texted you about this earlier this week. There was a lot of smoke with Tyron. They had the best offer available. I felt like the one concern I had was would would the Chiefs come close enough with an offer? And I don't I don't know this for a fact, but would the Chiefs come close enough that it would basically say, Hey, listen, grass for twelve or thirteen games a year, playing with Mahomes, et cetera, et cetera. Listen, the Jets had the biggest offer. I told you that earlier in the week. And Tyron Smith obviously took it. And, you know, he, large upside in the offer. But six and a half million guaranteed. I'm stunned it's that low. I thought it'd at least be I 10 thought it'd million. Be one, I thought it'd be one for 10 or one for 12 with upside to 20. I didn't think it'd be one for six and a half. That's you know, unbelievable. Obviously, he was so good last year. Like, I don't like they, they, he's, he's second team all pro, dude. Yeah, like, <laughs> he's unbelievable. Like, he's a future Hall of he's Famer. He's that <laughs> in football last year. Yeah, like, it's not like he's a first ballot Hall of Famer. He's been an all pro five of his, I guess, nine years in the NFL. Like, if he's played a full year, he's basically been an all pro at least one out of every two years, if not better. This is an incredible play. Like, this isn't Dwayne Brown at 39. Look again, full stop. Tyron Smith could get hurt at any point. 
guess what? Everyone could get hurt at any point. Dwayne Brown was healthy too. I understand the concern. But Tyron Smith's 33. Generally speaking, his injuries are three to four weeks. He misses with a hamstring, a, a back, whatever it may be. This isn't, hey, a guy struggles with Achilles, ACLs, again, knock on wood. But, like, this is, I don't know, it's just different. And plus, you if you build in depth with that, whether it be through 10 overall, you know, your own depth, free agency, draft, trades, whatever it may be, I just feel like, this kind of made no like this made a total amount of sense. Like, in what world are you not signing Tyron Smith for one year, six and a half million? Like, what? <laughs> he was a second team All Pro last year. I just, I just can't believe they got him for six point five million guaranteed. Like, it's just a complete no brainer of a move. And I mean, for what this now does for the draft, I mean, we talked about a couple scenarios, but I mean, trade up, trade back, stick and pick, or uh, Bowers or one of the receivers. I mean, they, the possibilities would you are tra- endless would you now. Trade up? How far would you trade up for Ro- or for Rome or, or Malik Neighbors? If they're there at seven, I'm moving up. What about six? It depends what the Giants want. I think they're going quarterback, though. I think they might make it to seven. I, I so, think McCarthy's going six to the Giants if someone doesn't leapfrog the so Giants. So if Minnesota trades up to three or four. How did you get a thumbs up behind you, by the way? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> How'd you do that one? My brothers, my me and my brothers are hell. Oh, out. the Parkinson crew, yes. Yeah, we're all we're all hanging out. Um, if let's just say the Vikings trade up to three or four, right? Do you call the Chargers at five? You say we'll trade. I'm just making this up. Actually, I'll ask. I'll ask you guys. Ask the what's peanut it, gallery. What's, what's it take? To go from eleven to, or ten to five, a one or next year's two and something, probably a one. Realistically, ones, yeah. probably a one. Would you trade next year's one and this year's one to go get up, go get Malik Neighbors, and then do Neighbors, Garrett Wilson, Conk, Brees? Like I would. For for Neighbors, I would because I, I I think I, I don't think there's a drop off between him and Harris in person. I think Neighbors. Right, is that so special. that's what I'm saying. Like. Now, like, how aggressive do you get? Do you go, do we have a shot here to go a two-year window and just go all in? Like, I, I, I would. I mean, I, I don't know how far they'd be willing to go. Even if it goes up to eight to get to Rome. Like, I don't know, man. Rome and Garrett's pretty damn good. I know. Like, it, I, it's pretty damn good. Then MBS is your stretch the field guy, theoretically, if they get him. Well, I think it's I think it's trade up or trade down because I think there's just like you're in such a good spot where you could yeah. do one or the other. Like you, I guess in theory you could stick and pick if like somehow Alt's there or Fashano's there, and you're like that's our guy. We have the highest grade on him. Or like, but I mean, if you're the Jets and it's, and let's say they sign Mike Williams Monday, who's visiting with them, how do you not look at trading back and recouping a second and still being able to take a dabble in, in this tackle market? Take a you could take Roman Wilson in round two. M- McConkey maybe is there. Oh, Ricky uh, Pearsall. Pearsall could be there. Yeah, you have so many options if you get a second round pick. Yeah, look, I, I just this is gonna be interesting. It's gonna be really interesting how they approach Monday. It's Clowney and Mike Williams feel like the two big veteran names that if you add them, now you don't have any glaring needs, right? You don't have any like obviously you have other needs. I'm just saying like if you do that, now you're probably – at least if you went into the year with Mike Williams, Garrett Wilson, you know, <laughs> the rest of the crew, <laughs> um, at least it's like – it's not horrible. You know, at least you're in like a decent spot. That means you could add a receiver in round three and not have to trade back if you didn't want to. But if you took a receiver at 10, now it's a really damn good unit. If your offensive line is what it is and it's Mitchell – you know, Warren, Schweitzer, McGovern, whatever it may be. O-line's good with some depth, decent. You'd love, like, one more guy, but it's not terrible, right? I just feel like they're in a spot where being able to address three stars in the offensive line has put them in a spot where at least they can say, we can take the truly best offensive player available at 10. And, like... The fact that they can actually do that means they can trade up, they can trade back. Again, I'm, I know I'm repeating myself here, but you know, 48 hours ago, it was 
They have to take a tackle at 10. I know. They have to take a left were, tackle. I, I didn't even want to entertain anything other than tackle because Tyron was the only guy you could say, well, all right, they don't need to The problem is this draft do. class is really two left tackles and a bunch of right tackles and, like, guard tackle flexibility guys in round one. Even, like, you know, like, it's really just all Fishanu and then – Fontano? bunch of – Fontano is, like, a, probably the biggest hybrid <laughs> – Probably the biggest hybrid guy. And, like, other than that, the rest of the crew is, like, right tackle or right tackle, right guard guys. And, like, that's great, but like, did the Jets really need a right tackle? I mean, yes, again, Morgan Moses is older. He's 33. So is Tyron Smith. But guess what? Like, Aaron Rodgers is probably walking away in two years. CJ Moses is probably walking away in two years. Morgan Moses is probably walking away in two years. Go win a goddamn title. Like, go win a goddamn title and figure it out later. Omari writes in, on this day a year ago, Aaron Rodgers committed to the Jets. Now, a year later, we have Tyron Smith. Ah, uh, live look at Robert Sala and Joe Douglas tonight, Will. Yeah. Yeah. Look at these bald men. The most hated and also most loved men in uh, <laughs> Jersey. Uh, Joe, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate you. Um, Kyle says, can you do a mock draft tonight? All right, well, here's here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit the sounder. The Jets are on the clock. Joe Douglas, what you got? With the 10th pick in the 2024 NFL draft, the New York J-E-T-S. Jets, Jets, Jets. Select. Brian Thomas Jr., Louisiana State University. Oh, I like that pick. I like Thomas. Four three four guy, big dude, can fuck and go up and sorry, I don't know, <laughs> can go up and get it. Can can run obviously elite speed, elite hand, like elite hands. Him obviously Garrett Wilson. Let's just say they sign MVS. Him and Corey Davis or Lazard, whatever it may be. You're feeling really damn good about where this receiver room would be at. It's probably a little bit of a reach at 10. But honestly, if the Jets are going to reach for something, reach for a pass catcher, right? Like, I'd rather, like, if you're going to reach. Score points. Reach, score points. Go score points. Yeah, exactly. If you reach for a guy that's supposed to go 14, you know, there was, there was mock drafts and O'Connor and Trevor had him going potentially eight to Atlanta as early as last week. Sorry, if he goes 10, like, I'm not going to be upset about it. Oh, weird. The last time the Jets drafted a receiver at 10. Oh, weird. Garrett Wilson, pretty damn good. A good, like, figure it out, man. Like, you know, you want to talk about what he wants to sell jerseys. He wants to sell tickets. You know what a great way to sell tickets and jerseys is? Go grab a guy that's going to score touchdowns week after week, run sub 4 4 from a school that produces all pro after all pro after all pro receiver. Like, that's that's the way it works. The only uh the only thing I'd say about Brian Thomas is I wonder if you could get him in a trade back a few spots. But I I if you could love you the trade player back maybe twelve and recoup a, another three. Yeah, I, I I would do that. But if you love the player enough, like I, I honestly people might not like this because I know we got you know I don't I, we're not at truther level with Brock Bowers yet. But there's a lot of Brock Bowers. You Look, know, I love I advocates. love Brock. I just feel like true true wide receiver or a guy that's like a hybrid. I'd almost rather the true wide receiver so that way I can like. I don't know. Rodgers doesn't love motion as much. Does he want like maybe like that true like guy that's going to line up and see every single damn snap? Like, does he want that or like I don't know? What, well, what's... doesn't it also depend if like what they had already done at receiver to that? Like, if they sign Mike Williams Monday, I wonder how that impacts their thought process. Oh, Bowers versus receiver. If they sign Mike Williams, maybe Bowers is more of a target. If they don't, if they're just like I don't know. Let's just let's ballpark it. They sign Tyler Boyd, who feels like he's going to be a stealer, but. They send Boyd, who's more of a slot guy, then what, what roles Bowers really play? Then maybe it's a Brian Thomas. If it's vice versa, maybe Bowers comes into play with a Mike Williams and a Garrett Wilson because you need somebody that's going to patrol the middle of the field with Conk. That's where I just feel like it's hard to do mock drafts, obviously, <laughs> you know, uh, you know, six weeks out. But I'm just thinking to myself, like, I don't know, guy that's a, a 4-3 speed guy, like, could be worse. Man, I'm excited. I'm excited. You should, you should be. The Henny uh, might be kicking in, but we should be excited, buddy. No, I'm pumped, man. I'm pumped. I appreciate you hopping on late night, Will. You're the man. 
Ego, the Migos and the uh, the and the uh, and the Henny. It's getting after it. Let's go, baby. I love that you have the uh, the TOJ custom glass though too. That's legit right there. Let's go, Parkinson fam. There we go, baby. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was a nice little Christmas gift, you know. There That's we go. Tremendous. That's true. I gotta, yeah, I, I, I gotta get some uh, Jake and Show yeah. Henny glasses. There we go. I love it. Well, appreciate you hopping on, man. This was fun. Of course, of course. Well, uh, we have might be doing a little something in Vegas for the uh, for the draft. A little teaser for the for the fan base. Stay tuned, folks. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Will Parkinson, TOJ podcast. Subscribe. You also can hear him on the Badlands Patreon podcast every Saturday. So check that out. Will does a great job covering the Jets. All right, a couple more calls before we start to wrap things up here. So if you want in, super chat to get your comment read. Joe says Tyron Smith grew up a Jets fan. Is that true? I did not see that anywhere. Where is that from? Where is Tyron Smith from, I should say? He's from L.A., so I, maybe he's got family from New York. I, I don't I – I have not heard that he grew up a Jets fan, but that would be pretty cool if that's true. Snowball up next on the program. Hello, Snowball. Jake, we're going to keep the, uh, the Long Island uh, train rolling. Let's Will go, Parkinson Snowball. to Snowball. Uh, <laughs> the first thing I'm going to say is uh, cheers to Joe Douglas. What a man. What a move. What a great thing to happen on today. I mean, it is now, well, that was yesterday. So <laughs> 12 o'clock, 12.02 to Joe Douglas. <laughs> to Joe Douglas, that beautiful, sexy, handsome, bald man. We love you, that Joe. That bald man, that sexy, bald man. Uh, can we stop the JD hate now? Can we, can we, can we, can we quit it? Yeah, can we I stop mean, the JD hate? Snowball, you know how this works. Joe Douglas could cure cancer, and this fan base will say he didn't do it fast enough. So, you know, they got to win games. That's, that's the bottom line. True. true. <laughs> the, the other thing that I have to say is 17 is open. Seven, the number 17 is open. So with the flexibility that we have right now, is Devontae Adams a possibility? Could we actually do that? Um. Well, I mean, look, it could, could they get him? I, I, you can't rule it out just given the fact that it's not like the Raiders have this great quarterback situation. Um, who's the best? Who's the, who has the best chemistry with Devonte Adams? For sure, I don't know. He, I don't know one if he wants to leave and two if the Raiders would deal him. I'll tell you what, Devonte. Here's how Jets could actually get Devonte. I'll give you one scenario where I could maybe see it. I wouldn't say it's a hundred percent impossible to happen. Remember when AJ Brown got dealt? It was the night of the draft. If the Jets do now trade back at a ten and acquire extra picks, yeah, maybe if they, they number two. Maybe they could use that in an Adams trade. Maybe. Could they but it's going to take the Raiders who want to make, make that move, and it's going to take Adams who's willing to request that trade. So could we'll they say. get that two? Yeah. Could they get that two and, and take Devontae Adams? Could they? Yes. Will they? I would probably bet against it, but you can't roll it out. I don't know. And the last thing I have to say is the parade is a subway ride away now. Wow. It it's a snowball. subway ride away. You're very optimistic. I'm you tonight. moving to New York City. You yes. moving to New York City. You're the omen. I don't know about that. You no. Stop it. I you're lived. The omen. I lived in New York my entire life, besides the last six years, and the Jets never won anything. You didn't live in Manhattan, though. Yeah, but the Jets play in Jersey. What does that matter? It doesn't matter. The Canyon of Heroes <laughs> is on the island of Manhattan. Snowball, bring it. I like. I like the optimism. For your lips to God's ears. I like it. I will be at that parade. And if you think if you think I've had a, a lot of headache tonight, just wait. Oh my god. B Mac up next. What's up, B Mac? B Mac? Uh hey Jake. Uh congratulations. B Mac. Uh, uh do you want to fight uh, Alan? Great move. You want to fight Alan, don't you? Uh, I'm gonna save him for late uh save him for my last point. I'm gonna make my first point. Uh, right, first point is a, a great move for y'all, man. Love this move. Um, y'all finally, uh, you know, building up that O line. Uh, I got three stud offensive linemen. So uh, uh, now, uh, just show up that wide receiver position and MVP Aaron Rodgers. And I think this confirms that Rodgers can play all seventeen games if you can get an O line like this to protect him and build that wall. So. Uh, so great move for y'all and JD. We trust now hey, to the second point go. to Mr. Allen. Uh, yes. excuse my language, but Allen, fuck you. 
All right. I'm not a fraud. All right. I'm a Packer fan. All right. And Rodgers is my favorite player. All right. He's the reason why I became a Packer fan. And I have a right to come to the Jets as as an adopted child and root for him and root for the Jet. And you don't like it, Alan. I got two words for you. Suck it. Yeah. Let's go, Bernard. Yeah. Take that, Alan. All right. Bernard's coming to kick your ass. Let's go, BMAC. That was tremendous. That was tremendous. Get his ass, Bernard. I love it. Call back anytime. We love you, BMAC. This has been a, this is a top three show of all time tonight, folks. I've been live for almost three hours. We got a thousand people still watching live. This this show might have ten thousand views by the time I wake up tomorrow. Unreal. Unreal. Appreciate everyone for their incredible support. Once again, spread the word. I want you to put the word out there that we back up. We back. Patreon.com slash Jake Asman Show. Get in our Discord if you want the party to continue. I can't even imagine what's being written in there throughout the last three hours, man. Thanks to everyone on Patreon for the support. You guys are incredible. I love it, love it, love it. Let's go back to the calls right now. Gary is up next. What's up, Gary? Oh, I wasn't prepared for that. What's up, Jake? How's it What's going? What's up, Gary? What's up? You know, I think um, JD is completely incompetent. Right, and I said he should have been fired, you know, uh, on April 29th, twenty twenty one, when he drafted Zach Wilson. But to me, this off season up to this point, we haven't gotten to the draft yet, but just free agency, this has gone as well as you could have expected, uh, you could have hoped for. Like it really has. I know we haven't gotten a receiver yet, but that could change on Monday. If not, there are still other good receivers available. And now I said what I really wanted to do was completely rebuild the offensive line. So that if one of those star skilled players did fall to you at 10, you could take them. That's exactly what we have now. And, like, I don't think you're going to get Bowers or Neighbors. I mean, uh, Neighbors or Adunze. I, I think now the Chargers are definitely going to draft a receiver. So that's going to take the other one off the board. But what I do see happen, because you're going to have Harrison go probably to the Cardinals, I would, unless someone trades in for that. And then the other receiver, uh, what I do see happening is Bowers dropping to 10. And, like, I don't know if everyone fully understands what he is capable of. He can line up outside. He can line up on the end. They've used him in sweeps. They've used him in jet packet. They've used him in – he played in two completely different offenses and was the best player in both system, in both systems on the best team in college football. Who has no, lost – he didn't lose one single regular season game in his three years at Georgia. He only lost two SEC championships – to, to Alabama. Like, he's not Kyle Pitts. Like, Kyle Pitts was just this freak, like, who's like, okay, he's huge and he can run, but he never really showed how good of a football player he was. Bowers is a game changer. Like, I really think besides Harrison, like, if you just said, big board, who are the most talented players in the draft? Harrison is one. Bowers is two. And I think there's a real chance that he'll draft to us and we can draft him. And if he does, so you, so you want him? You want you're on the Brock Bowers train now. If he's at, I don't want to trade up for him. I don't think that's necessary. But if he's at ten, which I think he will be now, yeah, I want Brock Bowers. All right, look, I, I can't tell. I can't. It's it is no longer something I will not entertain because they signed the best left tackle in free agency and got Morgan Moses to lock up right tackle. It's no longer something I could sit here and say, uh, like under no circumstance they can't do. Now, I will say this, Gary. I appreciate you not bringing up Jameis Winston for the first time in your last like ten calls. So thank you. He, he is being discussed in the um, in the Discord. So if you guys want to that Winston conversation, I want people to join the Patreon, not leave. Gary, get out of here. <laughs> Uh, good call, Gary. Appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. Uh, let me make sure I didn't miss any super chats here. Uno says, I'm praying for us to stay healthy. Look, health is obviously the biggest thing, but any player can, Will said this, any player can get hurt, he's right. I just put on NFL Network. Are they, are they re-airing the Pats-Eagles Super Bowl right now? Give me live coverage of Tyron Smith. Air the Jake Asman show on NFL Network. I don't need to watch no Eagles Pat Super Bowl. Coach James, 
using his super chat for being a member for four months in the Asmaniac crew. Jake, we're taking the steps to move into playoff contention. I'm fired up now. Now wide receiver. Playoff contention, Super Bowl contention, Coach James. You got Aaron Rodgers with a top five defense, top five special teams, an all pro left tackle, a solid right tackle, an all pro right guard, a solid center, a solid left guard. Let's go. An all pro level receiver in Garrett Wilson, an all pro level running back in Brees Hall. I don't want no playoffs. I want a Super Bowl, and the Jets have a chance to compete for one now. Playoffs is the minimum. I want to win the division. I want to go on a run. I want the AFC East. All right? I want a home playoff game. They're already in playoff. They were in playoff contention with Rodgers back healthy. I want to be in the Super Bowl conversation. Two more wide receivers. The Jets are there. Ladies and gentlemen, perhaps no one better to wrap us up tonight. And for the second time in our three-hour stream, we say the following. All hail the king. King Loski. It's like his lunch break right now, for all we know. Unreal. Clap it up. Hey, if you're watching live, you better pound the King Lowski emoji if you're an Asmaniac in the comment section. Unreal. Unfreaking real. Let's go. To our king. To King Lowski. Rick, Road Rage King Lowski is my favorite. <laughs> oh, man. What a way to end it, folks. What a way to end it. Hey, if you're watching live right now, hit the like button. If you made it through three hours and you're not watching live, one, thank you, two, like and subscribe to the channel. Tell everyone you know, the place that talks Jets every day, 24-7, 365 is the Jake Asman YouTube channel. We went live for three hours earlier. Tyron Smith signed tonight. Three more hours. I got to go get some Taco Bell or something, man. Unreal. I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you so much for your support. We'll be uh, grub hubbing something to eat to celebrate this. Love this. Thank you to everyone for your support. Seriously, sincerely appreciate it. I mean, I, I say this all the time. The Jet organization does not deserve the Jet fan base. All right? But in the words of Aaron Rodgers, just relax, bitches. Tyron Smith is a New York Jet. Uno with a super chat at the buzzer. This is the best Jet show. Thank you, guys. We have the best fans, man. The fans make the show. The callers make the show. As my guy CP the Franchise would say about Knicks Fan TV, we are for the fans by the fans. So appreciate you guys. All right. Let's get you guys with a good clip to play us out. Psych, you think I'm going to play sleeping V-Man on the way out? Nah, we need to get the people fired up, all right? We need to get the people ready to roll. We need to get the people feeling good about the New York Jets. You know how we do that? We make fun of Colin Cowherd. Stand by, folks. And Jet fans are clueless. I mean, they're dopes. They don't know anything. This is a really good hire. Gase is a great coach. Gase is a great coach. Okay, Adam Gase is Kyle Shanahan before Kyle Shanahan. Gase is a great coach. I know what I need to play. I got to text this guy right after the show. <laughs> Little Victor Cruz dance. Oh, Victor. Woo. 
Ah, uh, appreciate everyone. J E T S Jets, Jets, Jets. Tyrant spits a jet. We're back tomorrow with a live show. I got a special guest I'm working on to confirm to join us. Thanks again to everyone who watched live. Thanks again to everyone who watched after the fact. Could not do it without you. Once again, the Jets have one of the best offensive lines in football. Not a joke. They do. And we're going to celebrate it every step of the way. Talk to you guys soon. Once again, J E T S. Jets, Jets, Jets. J E T S. Jets, 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 Jets. You're a degenerate gambler and you're in your mid 50s. Who bets on the Jets? Uh, who, have you not learned anything about betting? The Jets are going to come back. No, they're not. Three they're never, never going to come back. They're never going to come back. Hey, Bill's Mafia. You're in the wrong stadium, you friggin' a hole. You guys, football fans? I think the Pats could take the conference this year. I mean, the Dolphins are overrated and the Jets are choke artists. I wouldn't say that, Mr. Deeds. Why is that, though? You own the Jets, Deeds. I do? Wow. That sucks. You think that scares me? I'm not scared of you, you pansy. Yeah, I'll put my own fist through your face, you friggin' a hole. Hey, keep over in your home. Who do you want to win? The goddamn Jets. <laughs> <laughs>